That's another misfield for West Indies. Quite early in the power play, like you mentioned. That seems to be Gajnabi. Still not off the floor just yet. What another bad piece of feeling. It's Shiri Nation. I'm very sorry, um, Shibiki Gajnabi. But Nation allowing a, a run there to India quite easily. You can see that she's in a bit of some discomfort. Probably the smart thing would be to leave the field and see about it because uh, I know her team will be needing her in the batting department. But it's too early for all this set of misfeeling from West Indies. That's a wonderful piece of feeling from Haley Matthews, the best, the best bowler for West Indies, and she has gotten the early breakthrough. Cotton ball. It's, once again, it's Verma charging down the track, hitting back to the bowler. Repeat of what happened in 30-20 right here at Providence. Good catch once again from Haley Matthews. The early breakthrough. India, 17 for one. Shafali Verma caught and bowled Haley Matthews for nine. Yeah, and you can see she really forcing that one, not really getting close to the ball. And Haley Matthews taking a fantastic catch. And she goes for nine from eight deliveries. Well done, Haley Matthews. Yeah, you quite need an early wicket if you're going to really um, get into the Indian batting lineup. They are very formidable indeed. Jemima Rodriguez making her way to the middle. And we know what she can do. Just 19 years of age. 33 matches, a career runs of 719, averaging just 28 and a half. Really impressive indeed for a young career. Highest score of 72. She'll want to add to that tonight. Perfect conditions for batting. She has a perfect opportunity as well. Coming in at number three, in over number three. So India, they've really won this series. They've taken the series quite easily. 4 nil. this game. They've allowed some other players the opportunity of playing at the, at the toss. Mandana, the captain for this game, said she wanted to give the other batters an opportunity to get some runs as well. Because they're all looking to the next year's World Cup, February in Australia. West Indies will have a lot of work to do ahead of that World Cup. Yes, they have a lot of work to do. Uh, I think the work never ends as a cricketer. But when you look at uh, the Andrew Dottin not being in a setup together with Stefani Taylor, the, the original captain. So I believe it. they will build some confidence when they get them into the camp. But it's all about the other players trying to step up and take up the responsibility. And this is an opportunity that is given to them. And when you have the, those two batters coming back in, I mean, they have to make sure and get their place on the team. Good bowling once again from Haley Matthews. Before this game, Matthews, five wickets. The best for West Indies by far. The best in the series, of course, would be Dipti Sharma, who has eight wickets. Not playing today, Dipti Sharma. She bowled really well throughout this series, Dipti Sharma. There's an appeal for a court behind. Not all says umpire Jacqueline Williams. So that's the end of three overs. India batting first, 17 for one. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at cuca.org. They did have lost the early wicket, but they continue to battle here against the West Indies. It's going to be Anissa Mohammed to continue. Samirti Mandana on screen now. She's captain for today. Harman Preetkar, the captain of the series, not playing this one. And they're making a few adjustments to their team. I understand that before the World Cup, India will be playing a tri-series in Australia, involving Australia and England. Maybe we can hear from you what the West Indies have planned. 
in the air. Smitty Mandana holding out to Haley Matthews at long off. Wonderful catch from Matthews into the thick of things again. India losing his second wicket in over. Number four is the captain for this game. Smriti Mandana caught Matthews at long off off the bowling of Anissa Mohammed for seven. India, 17 for two. A good wicket. And I'm really happy to see this. You can see that Anissa Mohammed, the captain, she's thinking because earlier on in, the, in her first over, she had a long on and she realized what Smriti Mandana, what she has been doing and she really tried to get under that but unfortunately they sent back Haley Matthews to the boundary the long off boundary and she she caught it very well really good thinking by the West Indies team and that is what it's all about that is cricket that is what cricket is all about it's a thinking it's a mental game so India are the thoughts said you want to make it just about 120 because it's an unpredictable pitch Anissa Mohammed, she said she'd like to just go out and play freely. No pressure. Just want to play freely and to win. And to win this match as we lose some of the, the floodlights here at Providence. Seems very frustrating indeed. You can see that because the look on the faces of Anissa Mohammed, you can see the umpire Patrick Gustard not happy as well. And this is very unfortunate. It happened during the third T20 right here a few nights ago and it stayed off for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's now 13 minutes after 6 here in Guyana and we're hoping that it, we don't have, we don't have a, a lengthy delay this time around. So India in the power play, they've lost two wickets. Uh, the openers sent back. Let's have a look at those wickets now. First to go with Shafali Verma once again walking down the track to full delivery from Haley Matthews. Caught and bold. Good catching. Good work from Haley Matthews to get the early breakthrough. There was Shafali Verma gone for nine. And in the very next over, Sweetie Mandana holding out to long off. Once again, Haley Matthews holding on to it. Second wicket for West Indies. Walking into the shot again, trying to create that pace, trying to get under the delivery and not getting the type of connection she needed to clear Haley Matthews and the boundary. And that's two wickets for West Indies quite early. West Indies will be very happy with their work so far. Shefali Verma, the first to go, caught on both Matthews for nine. Mandana caught Matthews out the bowling of Mohammed for seven. Jemima Rodriguez just got in there, just faced three deliveries, he's yet to get off the mark. And so is Christian Morty, 17 for two at the start of over number four. Weston is just two bowlers used so far, both very successful. Matthews completing two overs, one for five, and Mohammed into her second over, one for 12. So that's the position right now, we're no play at the moment because of the floodlight failure. India, 17 for two. Hi, I'm Moin Ashra from All Around the Cricket and today we're going to review the brand new 2019 Jasper SkyDrive 117 cricket shoes. Every cricketer should look for three features in a cricket shoe. Support, comfort and durability. And the Jasper SkyDrive 117 offer these in abundance. A long lasting cushion in sock conforms to your foot shape providing not only the cushioning and comfort you need, but valuable energy return impact protection and adaptive support. On the market for $59.99, these cricket shoes are a high level cricket shoe at a fraction of the price. Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. Ten teams clash in 43 matches at the Queen's Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad at Warner Park Stadium and Connery St. Kitts. It's going to be music, entertainment, excitement, and 23 days and nights of cricket mayhem as the teams buy for bragging rights in the Cup of Champions. Who you reppin'? Come for the action. Stay for the vibes. For match schedules and more, visit windyscricket.com.
We're back here at Providence, still no play. Three stanchion here at Providence, they're out. And usually it takes about 50 minutes for those lights to cool off before the other power supply is activated. So whether they were on gen set or they were on the grid, it usually takes 50 minutes for that to change over. And it's usually a situation where the bulbs cannot be turned on again when they're hot. So they have, we have to mandatory at least 50 minutes delay when, when that happens. But it's been a situation like that all day at Providence where the power in the area has been on and off. So while some of us who are here for longer time than others were expecting it, it's very disappointing to see the no play at the moment. But it, takes a, it gives us an opportunity as we have the time, myself and Marissa, to look what happened in the series so far. It, it's, a very, it's a very tight series, if you want to put it that way. It started in Antigua with the 50 overs. Westerdays won that very first game, a nail-biting contest at the Sir Vivian Richards cricket ground by one run. Since then, India has been all over West Indies, winning the one-day series uh, two, goal, two matches to, to one. And then uh, here in the T20 series, India won the two matches in St. Lucia quite easily. And here at Providence, they've taken the other two as well for a 4-0 series lead. This is the, the final game of the series. Both teams will be happy that this series is going to be over. India and West Indies, but for different reasons, India will be happy that they <laughs> walk away with a series win. West Indies, not happy at all, but will be happy to know that it's over. They, they want to take the positives out of this, out of this series. So as we take this opportunity, um, how difficult of a series do you think it was for West Indies? The batting really let them down a whole lot. Yeah, it was really disappointing for them. As you can see, all teams want to win tournaments, want to win series, but unfortunately, I think the batting department has really let down the West Indies team. Uh, it's something that we have always struggled with throughout uh, the the career of the West Indies players. They are not consistent. So it's all about making sure that they try to, to work hard on their bat and see where they are going wrong. And I truly believe it's something more mental and skills or talent because they are really talented young girls, young ladies, should I say. So it's all about making sure mental, the mental preparation. And I know they have a psychologist, but taking the opportunity, taking the responsibility on themselves to identify things that they need to work on mentally and areas that they could improve their game. That's expert analysis from Marissa Aguilera, former West Indies captain. We'll be back when we have some better news for you in a short while. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at cuca.org. Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. Ten teams clash in 43 matches at the Queens Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad and Warner Park Stadium and Connery's in Kits. Get tickets, match schedules, and more at windyscricket.com.
and welcome back here at, at Providence. The power has been restored and we're about to resume. India winning the toss and batting first after 3.1 over 17 for the loss of two boat openers back in the in the hut. The opening bowlers for West Indies picking up the wickets to fall so far. Matthews 1 for 5 and Mohammed 1 for 12. So we're going to resume the action now with Anissa Mohammed continuing her second over. Previous ball just before the power outage, she had picked up a wicket. Driven back up the track to Mohammed and she seemed to hurt her fingers in the process of stopping it. So welcome back as well, Marissa. Good to have some action again. Yeah, I think it was a good break though. We had a good dinner. <laughs> Rodriguez down the track and driving when she got there. Beautiful drive is going to go close to the boundary and it's going to pull, be pulled up just in front of the ropes down at cover. Good shot after the little break. Just about 20 minutes we've been off for. Three lights of the six here at Providence going out. Similar situation happened in the 30-20 right here. run to the India batting lineup but this when you look at at Jemima and the way how she goes about her business on this pitch she's not a hard hitter of the ball she strokes the ball really well and this is what you want on this pitch allowing the ball to come to you and just really stroking it and picking up the singles and the, the fours along the ground not trying to to go in the air too much because you can see that they lost a lot of wickets in the last two games like that. Stop that, stop that. Alright, alright. Krishna Murti getting off the mark for his delivery she has faced. Getting a single all along the ground as well. In the game that Jemima Rodriguez was awarded the player of the match and she got 40 chasing that 59 that West Indies made. She actually batted sensibly there again and now she has another opportunity she batted in the nine overs game that was the one that was reduced because of rain but now she has an opportunity to bat very long and very deep soft hands and taking a very quick single so that's good batting once again from Rodriguez and she's constructing a very nice little inning so far four overs gone in the 22 for the loss of two Sportsmanship. Haley Matthews attending to some work on the uniform of Krishnamurti. It's really good. And these bilateral series tend to give you friendships as well, Marissa. You travel around the world and the cricketers you see every match, you tend to develop some friendships. Yeah, and I know uh, Krishnamurti and uh, Haley Matthews, both of them, they have a good relationship. Uh, they have been friends uh, playing together. Third over starts for Matthews. Two for five. Uh, sorry, one for five so far. Third over for her. And it's really good to see the Indian batters picking up the singles. Even though the bad balls, they are not there. You can still try and, uh, and work it around. You see umpire Jacqueline Williams. To the way Rodriguez and now Krishna Murti have been going. Seem like they want to bat very long and build, build a partnership. So it's an all Jamaican affair with Patrick Gustard and um, Jacqueline Williams, the umpires for this game. A 
heel for leg before Nuttall says umpire Williams. So Haley Matthews going wrong the wicket to the right-handed Krishnamurti. Yeah, and you can see she inviting her nice flight, slow delivery. So she's inviting her to probably take it down to lawn. <laughs> We're still in the power play. This one is hit all along the ground. Good feeling this time from Gajnabi, one of the local girls. So Gajnabi doing very well in young career so far. Pulling out, pulling out one of the fielding efforts so far. She's from Burbis, one of the three counties here in Guyana. Very talented young lady from the east of Guyana. Good bowling once again for Matthews. Yeah. Nabi, uh, she's really enthusiastic and always want to learn and get better. She's new, so it's all about trying to to be around the senior players and try to gain as lot of experience as possible. Soft hands once again from Rodriguez, and India will take another single to end over number five. So that's the end of five overs. India batting for us 25 for loss of two. So it's rebuilding now for Jemima and Krishnamurti. Having lost their openers, Shafali Verma for nine and Captain Smriti Mandana for seven. 25 for two after five overs. We're still in the power play. One over to go. Matthews so far very economical in our three overs yeah. and successful as well picking up one wicket um, Anissa Mohammed two week two overs completed so far one for 17 she's gonna continue final over of the power play she bowls round the wicket good yeah. feeling uh, this time from Natasha McLean the ball that was swept straight to her powerfully and she got her hand down and stopped it so Rodriguez looking for some Runs on the onside, but she found McLean on that occasion. As we say good night for the first time to Clyde Butts. Hello, Clyde. Good evening to you, John, and good evening to viewers wherever you are. Stop that! Oh. All right, all right. So Rodriguez once again dealing in singles, looking for the gaps and working the gaps, rebuilding now the partnership. Very young, nine runs so far. What I like about the two, two, two watchmen is that they're using their feet. They're not afraid to use their feet. They're using their feet, looking to hit up the mid on, mid off, and c picking up singles. Stop that, stop that. All right, all right. Go on, girls. Keep working, girls. Work, twin, work, twin. The bowling has been smart as well. They, they have not tried too many things, more or less, looking to bring the players on their front foot. Power play is on, so India really trying to look for the Finish gaps. Strong. There's two fielders outside of the 30-yard circle for the first six overs of the of their innings. <laughs> Down the track, that, that, that. outside edge found, good feeling, okay. Afi Fletcher. But a good bowling as well from Anissa Mohammed to find the outside edge of the batsman. Working, One working, more girls, to on, India. Smart going, bowling, like you said, Clyde. Yeah, she's bowling right down, wrong wicket, bowling across and getting the ball just on her about the off stump. Got the edge. Um, Pass from being lucky there as well, because she would have certainly been stumped. This time, Rodriguez run, run, run. gathering runs yes, 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 yes. on the onside. McLean is after it. They're looking for the second. It's not on. Sent back. That's very good work from McLean, who had a very ordinary start to, in this game. But now she has gotten it all together. 28 after 2, power play done and dusted. Good steady bowling by, by both um, captain and, and Matthews, bringing the batsman on the front foot, bowling in, in, in tandem and bowling very well. So after the loss of the openers, Jemima and Krishnamurti repairing the damage and no batsman yet in double figures. 
went after the power play 28 for a loss of two and three overs aside for uh, three overs each for Matthews and Mohammed Mohammed one for 20 and Matthews one for eight so how do you assess the power play for both teams I think I think West Indies will be pretty happy with that you've got two wickets and you've kept them down to 28 runs in, in the six overs I think that's that's good going as a bowling side you've got two early wickets and the two batsmen that came in actually um, decided they had to rebuild so that's a little bit of pressure on, on the batting side more than the ball inside and I think West Indies have done well and they will be pretty happy with that. New bowler for West Indies, Afi Fletcher, Fletcher. right arm um, leg break bowler replacing Haley Matthews who have done very well with a new ball, one for eight. A late dab from Jemima, quickly taking the single. So they're continuing to pick up the runs, the singles at least, very good partnership in the making here just 12 runs so far but it's a very busy partnership note that that's the first time they've actually looked to hit the ball behind the wicket on the offside they've more or less been looking to play down the down the down the ground whereas West Indies we have seen so many of those shots that's another single for Krishnamurti in the V like we know it so good use of the feet West Indies using the spinners but the Indians not afraid to use their feet, get to the pitch of the delivery and drive in the gaps. Matthews out of the attack from the southern end of the ground. Three overs, one wicket for eight runs. Now Afri Fletcher has a chance. Cut, missing. Fletcher three wickets so far in this series best effort was in the last game the rain affected game that was reduced to nine overs a side she bowled mis uh, misery spell um, two overs two runs two wickets looking for some room to cut none given on that occasion so Jemima looking to get on with things but just can't get away Fletcher so far Fletcher's been bowling very good this series Yes, yes, she has, and that was a quicker, flatter delivery, just on her about the off stump. She's bold well. She's an experienced cricketer. I think that's the difference there. When they look to cut, it seems to be in trouble, and every time they look to hit the ball down the ground, they look very comfortable. Marissa's back after dinner break twice. Dinner was split in two. Another dot ball from Fletcher. So Flet the first of Fletcher coming to an end. India 31 for the loss of two. Seven gone. New bowler as well, so it's going to be a double change. Ali Allen is going to have her opportunity. She's replacing her captain from the northern end of the ground. Mohammed, three overs, one for 20. So she's going to be replaced by Allen, who's going to be bowling some right arm medium. So the first seam option being used by West Indies in over number eight. Yeah, and Allen, Allen is, has been around for a while. She's been bowling well. The regionals this year, she bowled pretty well along with Charmilla, um, right at the stadium here. And, and she was very consistent with her, with, with, her, with her line and length and so on. So it's Bye. nice to see her actually getting a, by getting a game here in Guyana. Um, we just have to wait and see how she goes. I think it's a pitch whereby it, it comes on a little quicker than we have seen in the first two games. Um, so she might well enjoy bowling on it and the batters might feel comfort, more comfortable playing the seamers than the spinners. The keeper standing up, and the first ball is played into the onside. 
And she gets the very quick single once again, Rodrigues. So Allen, she looked very impressive during the Wendy's Women's Regional Tournament that was played right here in Ghana. Of course, being rewarded for her consistent efforts over the years. Down the leg side on wide signal by umpire Gustard, but it's a good take from Shemin Campbell. Very, very good take. And you could hear the wicket keeper in the background. She could keep. She moved, she moved well to it. Also, you can hear the wicket keeper. Cheering on every every delivery from their bowlers, cheering on the feelers as well. The wicket keepers are usually the live wire. They were very noisy people, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are the live wire, so that's why they're noisy. Oh, that's a good ball coming back into the right hander. And all she can do is just squeeze it out and got a single. They're looking for the singles actually. They're not trying to be bogged down at all, not allowing the ball to ball to one batsman too often, but looking for the single. That's, and that's good. I think what they'll probably try and do is get to the 10 overs, look to pick up if, they, if they're about 50, then they can attack if they've only lost two wickets. Yes, good bowling once again. So. Allen continues to be impressive in her very first over. I think the hint of C movement, yeah, yeah. the Indian batters are not quite on, accustomed on, to just yet. I think it's good to see Seamus actually bowl because you were talking earlier about the preparation for the World Cup and if you're going to play in Australia, you'll need a few Seamus to be bowling over in Australia. Oh, stop that! Stroke beautifully down to long on. Matthews, who has made long on her own, comes into play once again. She's a brilliant fielder, Haley Matthews. She's doing wonderful work on the boundary. She's tall as well, so that gives her an advantage. On the boundary, I mean. Not a single to India. That's the end of eight Very overs. Strong. India, 36 for two. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at qka.org. So Muhammad is going to continue to use Afi Fletcher from the southern end of the ground. Fletcher's first over just costing three runs. And she's a seasoned campaigner, Fletcher. So Australia will be the next World Cup, the World T20 for women. Before that, I'm not sure what the West Indies will have before World Cup. But I know for sure that India will be playing a tri-series in Australia, also involving Australia and England. That will be just ahead of the World, the World Cup, the World T20. I'm sure the West Indies will be looking to, to, to have a few camps and, and maybe a, a, a series as well. That swept and swept well, down to, down to fine leg. That's going to go all the way into the boundary for four. That's a good looking shot. Well, outside the leg stump and swept fine for four. So Fletcher string on the leg stump on that occasion and the batsman quickly in position and swept all along the ground. So Jemima Rodriguez continues to be among the runs. She's on, on the 16 right now and her partner Veda Krishnamurti is on 7. So nice little partnership, 24 runs so far for the third wicket. 
what I like is how they've approached things. They've not tried to play a lot of big shots. They've more or less decided they've got to work the ball. Obviously, they've set themselves a target, and they're working towards that. Driven down towards extra cover. Fila on the boundary will come around. That's Nation. And good work saving a boundary. A good shot all along the ground. Nation, who had um, a missed field earlier on, seemed to be up and running again, but seemed to be favoring some sort of injury. Yeah, she is, she is, she is limping a bit in, uh, out, out on the field. I like the look, I like the look of Rodriguez. She plays well. She drives the ball beautifully oh, off the front. So. Appeal for a leg before the ball goes behind the wicket keeper. Umpire Jacqueline Williams up on one leg, tapping the other, signaling a leg by. The ball was clearly pitched outside leg, um, Clyde. Yes, it was. And once it's pitched outside legs, you should not be given out LB though. I think all the umpires for this series must be given some credit. They've been doing a wonderfully good job. Umpire Basarat, who is the standby umpire for this game. As well as the standing umpires, the Jamaicans. That's very close to a wide. Uh, very close. So are we saying the commentator's course in that one? <laughs> I'm not sure. Very close though. But maybe when we see it back, it she compiles maybe right. Rodriguez down the track once again a driving nation is after it. And there's gonna be an opportunity for a second, taken quite easily for India. And that's the end of nine overs. India batting first. 45 for the loss of two. Rodriguez, the top score so far in this innings for India. Nine overs gone, 19. Krishna Murti with her seven. They've added 28 runs for the third wicket after the, the loss. Shafali Verma for nine, and Smriti Mandana for seven. Four bowlers used so far from West Indies. Matthews and Mohammed are only successful bowlers. They both completed three overs. Alain just one over so far for her, and two to Fletcher. Yet to pick up a wicket. Playing it down to short third man with short ha with uh, soft hands and getting another single. So I think the hallmark of this partnership has been the running between the wickets. I, I, yes, I agree with you, but I think more than that is the way they've played the deliveries. They've, they've not looked to hit hard, they've looked to work into the gaps or when the field is a little deep, just play with soft hands out, out of the field so that they can keep running and keep rotating. Very quick single, safe. A good yeah. commitment being shown as well, diving for that crease. Allen in her second over. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. The keeper standing up to Allen. I can't ask you about standing up to the, to the stumps, Clyde. That can put a lot of pressure on, 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 on the batters as well. Fall him. A little bit of inward Wally, movement Wally. for Allen. Nice Keep contest. Keep so after the early loss of Verma and Mandana, they had to rebuild India. And they're doing so lovely between Jemima Rodriguez and Veda Krishna Murti. Almost at the halfway stage of their innings now. What I like about Allen, she's oh, bowling wicket to wicket, not giving them any room to play through the offside or into the leg side. They've got to take chances to try and hit her off the stumps. Lots of batting still to come for India, so they know once they can get over this difficult period, they'll be able to perhaps cash in at the business end of the inning. Looking for the second, and it's not on Krishna Murti. Turning her back on Rodriguez on that occasion. She was contented with just a single, but Rodriguez wanted a second. But good work again by Western these deep feelers. Come on, girls, come 
Ian Allen bowling that close off stump line. She was playing with across the line slightly um, to hit that ball just in front of square on the onside. In the area, this one is right off off stump. And Batsman hitting over the infield, but over the head of the inner ring, but not hard enough to get the deep cover where Chanel Henry is feeling. And not a single. So this is really competitive stuff. Bowlers bowling tight line. And the batsmen trying their level best to get runs. So after the over, I'll have a break. Perhaps I'll try to get some dinner if Marissa left any for us. <laughs> you may be lucky. Maybe. That's, one, that's, that's a lovely one. flowing get it, get it, get it. drive from Rodriguez. Not a single. To the wide field at long off. Gaj Nabi coming into play. So that's the end of 10 overs. India batting first in the final T20 of this series. 49 for a loss of two. Yes, and if you look at the, the batting card, um, India has been consistent. Jamnayan Krishnamurti has, has batted well. After losing the two early wickets, they've come in and they've worked the ball around, pushed him up to mid-off, mid-on. Most of the times, picking up singles, rotating the strike, rotating the strike. As I say, welcome back to Marissa Aguilera, who has been eating for a little while. And <laughs> just looking at the bowling card, West Indies bowlers have been consistent. Matthews one for eight, Mohammed one for 20, Fletcher has bowled two for 11, Ali has bowled fairly straight with her medium pace, the only medium pace so far that have, have been used. And now we see Henry coming into the attack. Hi, Mr. Butts. <laughs> we have Chanel Henry coming into the attack. Yes, uh, I had a good meal. <laughs> a, a good meal? <laughs> okay, come on, give me a break, guys. <laughs> I, I was looking at Chanel Henry bowling in, 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 out in the middle earlier on. And she was actually swinging the ball with good pace. Uh, and I was speaking to court, and I was asking, well, I haven't seen her bowl for the series, but she looks very good. Good stop by, by McLean. Down the leg side, worked off the pads, just behind the square. McLean diving away to her right. We had a good stop. Yeah, I'm happy to see this. That's a 50 up for the... India batters from 10.1 deliveries. Happy to see McLean up and running again. So she made two good dives. Edge, inside edge, down to fine leg, four runs. That was straight, got the inside edge. Been unlucky the bowler there because I thought that was a good delivery. Fairly straight, just, just got the inside edge and went away all the way down to fine leg for four. But I'm thinking I could see a little discussion taking place by the captain and, and Chanel Henry. But Chanel looks like she wants to bowl straight. And if you're looking to bowl straight, I think fine leg needs to be back. I think if she's going to bowl that line, she has to put back the fine. And both deliveries actually went down in that direction. Uh, unless um, captain is asking her to just bowl a little wide, just a little outside of stump. Great, good looking shot. And good work out into the deep as well, diving away to, to her right. Is that Gajnabi? That's Haley. That's Haley Matthews. Haley Matthews yes. Diving away to her right. At the run for all the way from mid from long off, down to long on, and diving away to her right and saving two runs. And I was just about to talk about this because I'm seeing Gajnabi, she was deep third man. And Chanel, she's trying to bowl straight. So you need that long on. So it's a good move by Anissa Mohammed to send out the long on and bring in the third man. Because Chanel Henry, she will not be looking to bowl outside the off stump. But I hope she don't bowl. <laughs> well, you can see she's bringing in the, the middle wicket and sending back the third man. So, uh... 
well, she would have to bowl outside off stump with this, this kind of feel because you've got um, long on, long off, deep cover, and a third man. And she needs to understand as well. You can't afford to, to bowl too full. But I, I think that the feel that they had before, they could have worked with it and just like what they were doing by pulling in the third man and sending off the the long on uh, I think it would have been a, a, a good move and you can see Anissa Mohammed making that decision because you need you need Henry to bowl wicket to wicket that is what is needed on this pitch wicket to wicket you can see how uh, Aling has been bowling so far, wicked to wicked, not giving them any room. But this is a good move by the captain Anissa Mohammed. This time it's clipped behind square. Although the first went out to midwick, this one was clipped behind square on the other side. Nicely played, played in the air, but was timed beautifully. I went all the way down to the deep backward square for four. Yeah, that's, that's good work by Krishnamurti. Really good work hitting that one backwards square. Henry drifting a bit. She has to take in consideration that she don't have the fine leg or the backward, the backward square. So she needs to keep it as straight as possible. So after the 11th over, the India batters, they are 61 for 2. This is a good partnership building on, by the India batters. They are 44 on, so far, and they're building their innings really nicely. You can hear the captain on, mention on, at the coin toss that she would like to have uh, around 120 runs. So they are building their innings nicely. So hopefully they can get <laughs> what they want. <laughs> come on, girls, come on, girls. Well, they, they are on course. You've got 61 in, in 11 overs. You've got nine. Um, or overs to go, you, you've got eight wickets in hand, so you're on course. I think from here on, they would, they would be thinking that they could get actually more than 120. Yes! Nicely yes. driven out to a long off, and they'll get, they will get two. Good bit of footwork again by, by the fielder, Matthews, running around. That's catch number, sorry, running around from long off. Yes, and Gash Nabi, she has been doing a really good job on the boundary. She has a strong arm. She's very athletic, enjoying her cricket, and that's what it's all about. Yes, and that's what you want to see when players come into your team. You want to see them enjoy yourself. You want to see them work hard in the field, and that, that's good to see. Knowing that you have two of the senior players of the team now these players will be thinking about making sure that they seal the position in order to get into the world cup squad because it's it's pretty difficult I mean, even though we have a small pool of players but you want to make sure that you stamp your authority and get the selectors to look at you easy easy i agree with you more and i think alina has shown that she's she, she, she's got the right attitude well in the right side of the link line not bowling as full as, uh, as we did see Henry bowl. I think Henry bowl a little too full in, in the, the over that she bowled. And with Char Miller, who is, who is injured as well, to come back, I'm sure the, she, would, she would play a big, a big role in Australia. Oh, stop that! Oh, boy. So, Mr. Butts, I know you have been uh, the chairman and selector for the West Indies Cricket Board. So, what you think, you know, really stand out? What you look for in a player? Well, a, lot, a lot depends on, on what the team wants and, and, 
and how you're, whether you're building, whether your team is established and, and so on. I think what you like to see is players with the right attitude. Um, sometimes you have a talented player, but the attitude stop that, stop that, is not there. Yeah. And that, that can tend to step them back a bit. You like to see players with the right attitude, right commitment. That sometimes helps. And, and having knowledge of the game as well. I think that's where and we tend to talk about this a lot. <laughs> And, 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 the <laughs> and I notice you're laughing, and I wonder why, because you've kept in this team for a little while, and, and we have had selection meetings together, and, and what, what some of the things that we speak about. We'll be looking to get to here, but good work by Chanel Henry on the, on the boundary. And yes, we, we had some, some good discussions, and it's always good uh, to have good cricket discussions uh, and players coming through when you look at Aliyah Aling and and Shanita Grimman Shabika Gashnabi it's really good for West Indies cricket it is it is um, one of the things that uh, as a selector you hate most is when you see young players that will just just break a minute that was a ball pitched up outside of some she was looking to heave it over midwick it got the edge and it went all the way down to third man for four, four fortune eight runs. So partnership of 52 runs of uh, 54 balls, 36 minutes. Jemima and Krishnamurti doing very well. Jemima on 23 of 31 deliveries and Krishnamurti on 27 from 25 deliveries. So after the 12th over, the India batters, they are 69 for two. And they're starting to motto as well because they're starting to look to play their shots. And, uh, and I think the over before I said they will be disappointed if they don't get more than 120 at this stage when you've got eight wickets in hand. So they're obviously thinking that they need to try and step things up now and to look to score and score big. We have uh, Afi Fletcher replacing Chanel Henry, but I'm a bit concerned why she, um, she needs a Grimman. Is not into the attackers yet. I mean, she bowled well in the last in the last game, picking up two wickets. That's that's a big surprise that she hasn't bowled as yet. That's a good ball by Afi Fletcher. On the money. Yes, Gr Grimman bowled well in the last game that was reduced. And she bowled two overs. I think she went for 11 runs or there about, but and got a wicket. Oh. Indian batsmen again, not afraid to use their feet. Came down the track, didn't get to the pitch, still able to adjust and push it out on the offside and get a single. That's good, smart, and sensible. You have Krishna Murti going over. Uh, that's an opportunity for a catch. That's uh, Haley Matthews falling short of her. She may have moved a little late. I don't think she thinks the ball was actually going to go that far, but it certainly traveled a long way. And she may have moved just a little late. Oh. And you know, this is what I love about Shakira Selman. Even though that she's out of the, the game, she's not out completely. She's always trying to give advice. You can see that she's having discussions with he, with Haley Matthews and this is good. Uh, she's a senior player. She has been around for a long period of time and she has a great knowledge of the game and great experience. So, so it's always good to see her out and trying to, to, to give that information and that knowledge and experience. Well, that's what the team is all about, isn't it? Sharing and sharing and knowledge and helping each other to, to, to bring the best out of your teammates. Yeah, she's a good team player. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so we have Jemima using her feet nicely, coming down to that one and getting a single. So after the over, the India batters, they are 74 for two. So when you look at the batting card, India batters, they are 74 for two after 13 overs. You have uh, Jemima on 26, not out. Krishnamurti, she's on 29 from 27 deliveries, going more than a runner ball. And that's really good to see on this pitch. Working, keep working, guys. Come on, Rebecca. And the ball, the West Indies bowling have been fairly, fairly good, no doubt being special, I think. Both matches and Mohammed bowl well at the top. Fletcher hasn't been her best today. I think she, she hasn't bowled her best today. Allen Bull steady. So, and now we're having Grimman. Grimman is going to be coming into the attack. Yes, I was calling for her. Good to see Shanita Grimman into the attack. Right time off break bowler. Really good player. Played extremely well in the Australia series, making her debut. So, she will want to make sure that she can develop some consistency which is most important. Sometimes, though, you, you have to slip a young player in between overs, not wait until it's 13 when, the boat, when it's actually starting to go. <laughs> um, Shadeen Nation. And uh, for the last game, I saw Shadeen pass, uh, run past a couple of, of balls. And she did, yet she's doing it another time. Jemima going back and hitting that one nicely. Krimon, a bit short. And I'm wondering if, if Shadeen is experiencing some knee problems because of uh, her movement. But she I actually mean she ran past the del <laughs> delivery. I think what, is ex what, what happened there is that most times when you're feeling behind square, you expect the ball to spin. But Sometimes at mid wicket you don't expect it to spin that much, but certainly from experience and what happened to her in the last game, she she should be adjusting by now. Probably she's too quick now, is it? <laughs> Just getting back to selection. Though, yeah. The most annoying thing for me on selection is when you identify players and they start their career and start out good, and then they just fall away. That's a good sweep shot by Jemima. Good stop by Shadi Nation. She has been working really hard. But I must say, Shadi Nation has been working hard on the boundary, running hard. When you look at that one, sweeping nicely, Jemima, all along the carpet, and Shadi Nation getting across nicely. Really committing herself. Well done. Yeah, she really committed herself to save us a run. And that can be the difference between winning and losing a game. A wide ball, wide ball call by the umpire. And you can see that Grimman is realizing that when she bowled the ball a bit straight, they are sweeping her and hitting her over mid-wicket. So she's trying to go a little wider. And she's going uh, too wider. Uh, and when you look at the, the field setting, you can see she's bowling to a 5-4 field. And she's really trying to compensate here. But uh, I think the captain should walk her wrong, walk to her, and probably give her a little word of advice. She's a pretty young player. That's a much better ball. A 
as a single. But Mr. Buds, when you, I mean, you have a, a new uh, executive selector, as they call it, uh, Miss Anne Brown John. You know what advice you can you can give to her in terms of the selection, how you go about it. And after the 14th over, they in their batters, they are 86 for two. And when you look at the batting card, uh, the in their batters, uh, they are doing pretty good so far. Moving around nicely, Jemima and Kish Krishnamurti. They have a really good partnership going of 69. Both batters in their 30s, uh, and they are looking good for the India team. Bowling has been steady. Um, of late, just being a little bit loose. Um, both Henry and I think Grimman at the end, they're not really bowling as tight as one expected. I think Grimman has got a 5-4 field, but she's an off spinner. One would have preferred to see the 5 on the onside rather than the offside. Is there any advice that I can give to the executive selector? She has been around in <laughs> cricket even longer than me. <laughs> and been selecting teams, I'm sure, for years. It's another opportunity. Unfortunately, uh -huh. Haley Matthews dropping that one. She has been really good on the boundary so far throughout the day. But unfortunately, coming in really hard, that one's kind. And unfortunately, she was unable to hold it on. Well, she got there. That was the main thing. She got there, got underneath it, got both hands, I think, to it. I must have uh, uh, just misread the, the, the line of the delivery a little. Uh, she's not up Trinity again. Saying she's not going to get there. And you can see that in their batters, they are trying to power the way through the last six overs. 5.3 remaining. That's good moving by Allen. Leah Alling. Oh. And Jemima moving her feet nicely and getting a single and that's good work by the India batters even though they are not getting the boundaries they're trying to work around the balls get the singles the twos they're trying to get to that 120 mark i think they'll get there i think to note is that how many shots have we seen them play off the back foot on this pitch uh, we, we must remember that Sibir and West Indies come out what the difference will be and after the 15 to over, they in their batters, they are 90 for two. Are you ready? Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. 10 teams clash in 43 matches at the Queens Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad at Warner Park Stadium and Connery St. Kitts. It's going to be music, entertainment, excitement, and 23 days and nights of cricket mayhem as the teams vie for bragging rights at the Cup of Champions. Who you repping? Come for the action. Stay for the vibes. For match schedules and more, visit windyscricket.com. So we welcome John back to the commentary box. Nice to have you, John. How was your dinner? <laughs> <laughs> nice to be back. Dinner was lovely. So, Kajna B is going to be into the attack. Should be Kajna B, right arm, medium, fast bowler from Burbies here in Guyana. 
one of the three Guyanese in the 11 in the playing 11 today. Good to see Gadsden be getting an opportunity not only to play but to bowl as well. She's a very decent medium pacer. You have a lot of time for her now, don't you? That's a first ball giving a lot of width. Watch it, keep her the chance for Ronald to coming back for the second and finally getting there. Some work to be done on the boundary from Henry. But Gadsden, like you said, starting wide. But an opportunity for her. She's very young. Getting a first opportunity. Of course, there are going to be some nerves, some butterflies in her stomach. So playing at home as well. Some of our local fans cheering her on. Would like for her to do very well as India approach the 100 mark. And something that I'm thinking about, uh, when you look at this last five overs, uh, this, this is a time where you know the batters really go at the bowling. So I'm wondering if uh, Anissa Mohammed, the captain, she should have brought in these younger players a little bit earlier, probably in the mid overs and try to give the senior players, the senior bowlers, that responsibility at the back end of the innings. You can also look at it this way, when uh, they lost the openers, India, Vorma and Mandana, they were going for the juggler, West Indies. All right, all right, yeah. So as a result of that, they were looking for wickets, and they had the senior bowlers trying to get more wickets quite early to strangle India. So that didn't work. Instead, they got a partnership, which is now worth 78 runs for the third wicket for India. So now they're going to the lesser, or the younger uh, bowlers. They will all have to do it at some point in time. Yeah, you know, but sometimes, you know, you can just put you in. You can just put in one of the younger bowlers and then between of the senior ones because you want to, you want to protect them. Even though, yes, they are on the on the West Indies team, so they have to be able to pick up the, from the, the responsibilities. But they must be able to, as the captain, to just put them in and, and just protect them a bit and don't uh, allow them to be in this position. Well, it's really good for them to gain the experience as well. That's good bowling by Gashnabi. That's good areas. Uh, she's a thinking individual really love seeing her and her, how she go about her game she's always thinking always eager to learn and that's important as a young player the chance for Ronald non strikers in Alin had a throw but could not hit the woodwork and Krishnamurti got back in safely India, 96 for two after 16. That was an opportunity for a wicket for West Indies that they made one uh, take. Still to come, we have Vastraka, Radha, Bhatia, Dior, Poonam, Joshi and Patil. But at the moment, it's all Jemima and Krishnamurti, 34 and 4 to 1 respectively after the loss of the openers. It's a really good card for, for India and West Indies they've been using the bowlers catch number the latest first over for her five runs Grimond one for, one over for 12 Henry one over for 12 as well three overs for 17 runs from Alien Fletcher completing her spell none for 21 from four and the wicket takers Matthews and Mohammed so far for West Indies so we have the captain Anissa Mohammed back into the attack she will be looking to break this partnership. One time, one time. Not a single for India. Not trying to overhit the ball, we would say. Just trying to work the gaps and looking very good. I'm really impressed with Rodriguez. Krishna Morty started a bit slow, but then got into her own. Krishna Morty. On Pictia now, she has hit three boundaries from 37. Going, making some room outside off stump and playing his one into the onside. One more to Rodriguez. Rodriguez moves on to 35 now. 
from 42 deliveries, 45 deliveries in fact, two boundaries. Nice partnership, good batting. Yeah, that's a good, good partnership, 81. And this is what you need. And I really hope that the West Indies batters, they are looking, they are looking how the, how the India batters are going about their business. Oh, down the track and hitting back past the bowler. That's a could be a risky shot. If you look at the way Shafali Verma went early in the innings, caught and bowled Matthews, hit him back up the track. But in the end, Krishnamurti got another single. And they're working the Vs very nicely, India. Yeah, very nicely. But uh, I'm wondering, uh, Anissa Mohammed, she's an off-break bowler. I know she will be trying to bowl a bit slow. She's bowling to a 5-4 feel, 5 on the offside. And when you look at that, you'll be thinking that she wants to bowl a bit wide of the off stump and that is what you don't want up in the air but in the gap and it's going to be tidied up by the field that long off running towards her left and that single will give india the 100 100 coming up in over number 17 or 100 for two in the 17th and going back on the point that i was making you really need to be bowling wicket to wicket if you realize for the past matches that is how the the india bowlers have been bowling the windies bowlers have been bowling so you don't want to give them that width to get under the ball over the head of the bowler and long on will come into play matthews and good service to the bowler sending the return very quickly just one more to india Jemima Rodriguez on 36, Krishnamurti 44, partnership now worth 84. The 100 coming up at a rate of exactly six runs and over. So India not getting the boundaries, but it working the gaps beautifully. And that's good bowling by Hanisa Mohammed finding her fielder, Chanel Henry, on the boundary after the 17 over. The India batters, they are 102 on, for guys, two. On, guys, Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. Ten teams clash in 43 matches at the Queens Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad and Warner Park Stadium and Connery St. Kitts. Get tickets, match schedules and more at windyscricket.com. Sanisa Mohammed finishing her spell of four overs on, guys, in this on, game. Guys, four overs, one for 26. A bit on the expensive side, but she's picked up the early wicket. That of our opposite number, Mandana. So Kajnabi will continue. Bola, bola, bola. Kajnabi, wicket to wicket. Good bowling by her. You can see that the Indian batters, they're on par for their 120 which was asked by the captain. Stop it! Straight drive. Krishna Murti. Keep working, guys. Keep working, guys. Come Doing on, very well. Constructing an inning. She started working, slow, like I said. Strike create for her just about... 112 and a half so she's she started slow and accelerated in the year what a shot from Jemima Rodriguez she's gonna get a boundary hitting over the, the feelers in the inner ring and in the gap and nobody down at that position splitting the feeler deep extra cover and long off with pre surgical precision and getting a boundary on, on, wonderful guys. shot I mean, I love to see batters playing this shot inside out, and she perf she played that perfectly. Come on, guys. Come on, she's guys. that type of batter, giving herself room and playing that really nicely. Going outside the hurl off stump and making room and hitting this one into the onside deep advocate. And she the nation comes off of the boundary and does the feeling. So one more to Rodriguez. She's a uh, getting closer to Krishnamurti is on 45 Rodriguez on 43 so they're both approaching personal milestones 
and other than Shafali Verma and Smriti Mandana, no other batsman for India had got it, got past 50 in this series. And that was clipped from the off stump. It's a backwards square. And that was a good shot by Krishnamurti. Getting across that one. And really flicking that one backward of square for four runs. And the good thing about these India batters, they are looking at the gaps. They are looking at the gaps and trying to, to get that ball in, in those areas. You can see the captain, Anissa Mohammed. she's going back to the edge of the circle. Stop it, stop it. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy, easy. That ball to end over number 18, India 113 for the loss of two. Krishnamurti is on 49, Rodriguez 43. So Krishnamurti approaching a half century is on 49, Rodriguez on 43. Still to come, like I said, we have Vastraka, Radha, Patia, Dial, Punam, Joshi, and Patel who can hold their own, but we, I don't think India will be using all of those batsmen in this contest. Preston is two successful bowlers so far, Matthews and Mohammed. Matthews has one more over to go. Mohammed, like Fletcher, have completed their spells. So it's going to be Matthews who's going to be coming a call in now. She's going to be bowling her final over the 19th of the innings. So far, three overs, one for eight. Preston is most successful bowler in this series. Picking up six wickets so far. So a play of the match performance in the last game, three for 13 in a shortened game. Yes, uh, Haley Matthews, she has really been bowling good. Good going by her. She knows that. She knows the importance of her presence on the field with the bat and the ball. That's a good stop by the wicket keeper, Shemaine Campbell. That's a no ball by Haley Matthews. Um, is it that the ball is getting a bit slippery now? And the dew is, is coming into play. And that's a, a free hit. It's a full toss for height. So, free hit given. So, that's, of course, it's way over the, the waist of the, of the batsman. Free hit and she goes oh, over mid wicket, oh, but keep her, keep the fielder her, her. is on the keep boundary and back up, back up. just a single to her. That's enough for her to get her 50 as well. Oh, yeah, so oh, congratulations yeah. to, uh, to Radha Krishna, Veda Krishna Murti, 50 from 43 balls, four boundaries in that innings, just 11 odd balls in that as well. Nice partnership, worth 99 so far. So Krishna Murti bringing up her 50 in good time. That's a chance for Haley Matthews. All right, all right. Leaping in the air, could not hold on to it. She got hand to it as Rodriguez went over the head of the bowler. So that's a 100 partnership as well. So very good going for Jemima Rodriguez and Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti. They got to get at 17 for the loss of two at the start of over number four. And they're still here in the penultimate over 117 for the same two. That's really good, really, really good bowling by these two batters, Jemima and Krishnamurti. I think they really have batted well. When you look at Krishnamurti, she scored four boundaries, and that is to show that she's not looking for the big shots. And I really hope that the, the winter West Indies batters, they are looking in the way that the Indian batters are approaching this pitch. It's all about being a bit graceful and not really aggressive because it's really important to knock around the ball. They pick up their singles, they pick up their twos, they run, they run really well between the wickets. Take a shot side edge, the ball's going to run down to third man, getting close to the boundary. Alain is after it, and she pulls it up just in front of the boundary rope. The batsman will complete two more. 
one nineteen now for two. So India pretty much got the one twenty that they were looking for at the start of the game. But they still have another over another over to go after this. So they'll be getting bonus runs, so to speak. That's a very slow delivery from Matthews and is dispatched. Driven through covers, chases on. And Captain Muhammad is going to put it up just in front of the extra cover boundary. But the batsman will complete two more. So they're getting the odd boundaries. They're getting the turn the ones into twos now, India. They're stepping on the accelerator down towards the end of their innings. And Matthews there just taking all the pace off of that delivery. And Christian Murthy, equal to the task, got two. So you can see Lee Matthews having some issues with the ball. Probably the due is coming into play now. No. That's down the leg side, beating the keeper as well. And Gajnabe is after it, but she will not get there just to retrieve. And that's another boundary to India. Wide signal by umpire Jacqueline Williams. So that's a very naughty delivery from Hedy Matthews, perhaps losing her grip again. You see the towel coming out to dry the ball whenever they're ready to bowl. But this time it was a quicker one, angled down the leg side. Could not be taken by the wicket keeper. And five more goes to extras. Extras healthy contribution so far of 11 in this small total, smallish total if you want to call it that. 126 for two, still one over to go after this. Pace off with delivery again, peeling off the outside edge. Allen is after it, and India will complete another second. This time, there's going to be a collision as well. And eventually, they got the second that they were looking for, India. So, 19 overs gone in their innings. The batting first against West Indies. 128 for a loss of two. Are you ready? Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. Ten teams clash in 43 matches at the Queens Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad at Warner Park Stadium and Connery St. Kitts. It's going to be music, entertainment, excitement, and 23 days and nights of cricket mayhem as the teams vie for bragging rights at the Cup of Champions. Who you repping? Come for the action. Stay for the vibes. For match schedules and more, visit windyscricket.com. Aline is going to come back and she's going to finish the innings. So far, three overs, none for 17 for the right arm, medium, fast bowler. Rodriguez takes strike. She's on 45. Hitting down to long on. Haley Matthews does the feeling. And John, the last four overs. Uh... The Indian batters, they got uh, 37. And this is what I, I, I'm talking about uh, in the last overs. You have, to, you have to be so careful in the last five overs. You can have everything going for you in the, in the 15, 15 overs, but the last five, you can just totally give it away. Low full toss from Allen. Down to long one once again. Wickets in hand for India really did it because there was no longer that situation where they had to reconstruct or to build an innings again. So they had the opportunity with the set batsman at the crease in Rodriguez and Krishnamurti to go after the quick runs in the business end of the innings. That's why that stat was very important in the last four overs before this one, yielding 37 runs. In the air, inside out once again, but will not get to the boundary. Two fielders are after it. And Kaishwan Knight pulls it up. And that's why it's really good uh, once you, you get a start to really stay and occupy the crease as long as possible. Because uh, you understand what is happening. Instead of getting a new batter to come into the wicket and try to, get to adapt to the conditions. But you're there. You just need to make use of it. And that is exactly what these two batters are doing. 
looking for the second it's gonna be an opportunity for a run out you can see the legs are tired they're getting wobbly for Krishnamurti but she's very committed and that's the 50 for Jemima Rodriguez joining Krishnamurti on a half century as well so Jemima Rodriguez 50 coming up from 55 balls three boundaries just 18 dots in that inning striking just over 90 so that's a very good half century a workmanlike half century from Rodriguez and next delivery she's bold so wicket for West Indies coming a bit too late you may want to say Rodriguez looking to make room outside her off stump to flick that one on into the onside and she went too far across lost her stump bowled by Aline for a well played 50 from 56 balls with three fours India now losing the third wicket 134 for three in the final over that's really good going by Aling wicket to wicket you miss I hit and that is exactly what happened very good partnership coming to an end as well 117 run partnership for India for a third wicket between Jemima Rodriguez and Krishnamurti as Pooja Vastraka makes her way to this middle 20 years of age 18 matches 105 career runs highest of 22 averaging 17 and a half runs per innings she will just have one delivery to face as the before the innings come to an end Alin picking up a wicket in her final over. A swing and a miss and she's going to be left not out on zero. So that's the end of the Indian innings. 134 for the loss of three. 20 overs gone. That's the West Indies will need 135 from their 20 overs. India at the start of the match start, said that they would like to get at least 120 to, to be competitive so they got 14 more than they were looking for and I, I also was saying in off mic that it looks a better track than the 59 for 9 we had in the 30 20 we need to have somebody step on it to show that this track is a better track than the credit has been given for so at 134 for three what do you think India will be thinking they have enough yes I know India will be thinking that they have enough knowing that they wanted 120 and they got 134 14 runs more of what they asked for so when you look at the batting card you have Jemima and uh, Krishnamurti 50 and 57 really good work by both batters uh, I think they did extremely well. They occupied the crease for a long time. Uh, they were running their singles and their twos and getting the odd boundary. So this was a perfect partnership by this, these both batters. Weston is using seven bowlers in all, with Matthews, Mohammed, and Aline completing this spell and also picking up one wicket each. Wicket, uh, wicket less bowlers, Fletcher. Henry Grimman and Gajnabi, not too bad returns at all, but a bit expensive from Henry and Grimman. Hi, I'm Moin Ashraf from All Round the Cricket, and today we're going to review the brand new 2019 Jasper SkyDrive 117 Cricket Shoes. Every cricketer should look for three features in a cricket shoe. Support, comfort and durability. And the Jasper SkyDrive 117 offer these in abundance. A long lasting cushion insert conforms to your foot shape providing not only the cushioning and comfort you need, but valuable energy return, impact protection and adaptive support. On the market for $59.99, these cricket shoes are a high level cricket shoe at a fraction of the price. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at cuca.org. So back here at Providence, India just completing their innings 134 for the loss of three from their 20 overs leaving Westernies with a target of 135 runs to win from their 20 overs. Let's take a look at 
the efforts of India. They won the toss and started with Shafali Man and Mandana. Shafali Verma was forced to go caught about a bullet with uh, Matthews for nine. Mandana followed shortly after for seven. But then there's a wonderful 117 run partnership between Jemima and Krishnamurti. Jemima falling for 50. Leaving Krishna Murti not out on 57, 134 for the loss of three in the end. And that seemed to be a very formidable total, especially at Providence. Matthews started well, one for 23 from her four. Mohammed one for 26 from four. Fletcher, none for 21 from four. Aline, one for 23 from four. Henry, one over, none for 12. Grimond, one over, none for 12. Gajnami, two overs, none for 16. So let's take a look at the wickets for India. First to go was Shafali Verma with so much of promise, but once again going down the track and hitting back to Haley Matthews, caught and bold, gone quite early uh, for nine, and followed by Captain Smriti Mandana down the track as well, and she was hitting in the air and could not clear Haley Matthews at long off, and you can see walking into the shot, trying to get under, but could not get the elevation, and she lost her wicket. And after a wonderful innings, Jemima Rodriguez walked across her stump, leaving everything exposed for Allen to get in. And she was bowled for an even half century. India finishing 134 for the loss of three. So with 134 on the board, 135 that target for West Indies. Marissa, what will be the approach for West Indies if they're going to get 135 to win and at least save some amount of uh, disgrace, so to speak, in this series? Yeah, well, they will have to be thinking that it's not really a big total. So all they need to do is just to go out there and rotate the, the strike, pick up the twos, look and pattern how uh, the Indian batters, how they went about their business. They, they weren't trying to overhit the ball, hit in the air. It was all about uh, being so graceful, allowing the ball to come to you. And that is what it's all about. So they should be thinking that it's not about going out there and hitting any big shots, but trying to hit the ball along the ground and stick in there as long as possible, just as Jemima and Krishma Murti, just like what they did. So if you're going to put responsibilities on one of the West Indian batsmen, who will the batting revolve around? I think it should revolve around all of them. They need to pick up the responsibility. Every single one of them needs to pick up their hand and said, listen, I am going out there to win this game for my team. So all of them should be thinking about doing that. You've been around West Indies cricket, West Indies women's cricket for as long as I can remember. Was there a situation where West Indies were demolished 5-0 before? Um, not 5-0. We have times that we, we got white, whitewashed from the Australians and so on. But it, we show that we had fight in us. We show that it, no matter what, we are going down dying. And that's what it's all about. Even though you lose, but it's how you lose. And I know to a fact that they would not want to lose 5-0 in the series. They really want to come out on top, as Haley Matthews mentioned, that uh, people always remember the last thing you do. So it's all about trying to, to win this match. So, West Indies, with, after the halfway stage of this game, they're going to have to come up, uh, face the music for 20 overs. What's that discussion like in the dressing room now? What will the captain of this game, um, Anissa Mohammed, be telling her batters to go do? Yeah, no, Anissa will be telling them to go and play the natural game. They are custom going into the nets and enjoying their, 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 their batting. And that is what it's all about, going out there and enjoying your game. Relax and have fun. The next major assignment is, of course, the World T20 in Australia. After this series, what's next for West Indies? So, Marissa, what's next for West Indies before the World T20? Well, the, the West Indies players, they have the franchise, the Trinidad and Tobago Women's Cricket Association franchise in Trinidad, the T20 Grand Slam, Quartz Grand Slam, um, which is uh, to be held from the 1st to the 14th of December. So they have that tournament to look forward to. It's a really good and exciting tournament, T20 tournament. And after that, they will be heading into camp just before the World Cup, so they will be getting themselves in tune. And I know the, the trainers, they will have them into different training programs, even though they are not on camp. So they will have their stuff to do, even though that they are not there. Right. So when we come back, West Indies will need to get 135 from their 20 overs. Join us then.
So back here at Providence, West Indies set a target of 135 to win this final T20 against India here at Providence. And a bit of history as well, West Indies and India. A bit of history here at Providence. West in, uh, this game is the 16th T20 International to be hosted at Providence for West Indies, well, for women generally. As the Indians take the field, the captain for today for India, Smriti Mandana. Number 18, like captain of India senior team, Virat Kohli, captain of India men's team, on number 18 on their backs. So, India will be looking to complete the series whitewash, leading five, uh, leading four nil so far. West Indies openers are heading to the middle as well. Seems to be Natasha McLean and Kaishana Knight. So, as we say, welcome back to Clyde. Clyde, 135, West Indies need to get. What will the approach be? Well, the, the, approach, the approach, I would think, is to have a good start. Make that first six overs count. You don't want to lose too many wickets in the power play. You want, you, you want to be 30, 40 runs without losing. Not more than one wicket, of course. I think you asked Marissa the question earlier on about who should, and she said that she was looking for the whole team. But I think one of those top three, four batsmen have to be prepared to take the team through. Um, somebody has to stay in and bat, and, and the rest of the players has to bat around. Uh, it doesn't mean that they have to just work singles, but they have to be prepared to stay out there and show that they've got the experience, they have been playing cricket for a long time, and, and, and they need to take the team to victory. So McLean will take strike. That's a very good delivery from Mansi Joshi to begin. Does touch down and kiss the turf and left. A little bit of a way movement as well, Clyde. What's interesting as well is that India has opened the bowling with, with, with a seamer. And this is um, the third game being played at the stadium here. And they've decided to open the bowling with a seamer. And that certainly pitched and left the batsman. It seemed away um, from Natasha McLean. Interesting as well, John, is that of the three games that we have seen here, we have seen different opening batters throughout. Short ball from uh, Joshi, and this one is dispatched. McLean was quickly into position, hitting over backwards square. That one has gone all the way into the main scoreboard, and West Indies are off and running. M McLean is on six. What a shot. That was a great shot. Anybody would be proud of that shot. Short didn't bounce, this, bounce that high. She got under it and hit it pretty well over the backward square of six. Good looking shot. And she's shown, made her intention known from the second delivery. She had a sight. First delivery went away outside the off stump. Second one went away over backward square. A different opening combination like you mentioned. Oh. Oh, Appeal for leg like before. Not out says umpire Jacqueline Williams. And the batsman will complete one leg by so the foolish delivery hitting high on the uh, on the pad of natasha mclean so good decision from umpire williams yeah i think it was short but it didn't it didn't i think it, it, it stuck a little bit in the pitch it didn't come through as the, the previous delivery and i think mclean was lucky there that it actually bounced a little because she she looked to be in front but i think the height is what saved her so what do you make of the fact that Haley Matthews was being, in my opinion, the set opener, not opening of this game? Well, it, it must be another experiment that, that the team management is working on. But I think you, you at some time you've got to be settled with who are going to open your back or who is your main opener. And Haley Matthews has been that person for, for some time. And maybe I'm a little disappointed that she hasn't opened. Western is looking for combinations as we get to World T20 2020 in Australia in February. McLean getting another opportunity at the top of the order. And Kaishona Knight in this innings. Left handed Knight settles and awaits Joshi. Good delivery, close to the body this time. Not get given the batsman any room at all. And not able to get it away. 
it was good to know that the West Indies players were playing in franchise women's cricket in Trinidad and Tobago. That's very good. It is, and, and it'd be interesting to see how they go. And obviously, the, the selectors would use that to, um, to assess a few players that are the fringe players that they've, they've, they've been looking at. Of course, I'm sure they've got certain players that, uh, that have already penciled their name into the squad, but those fringe players they will be looking at a no ball bold. Um, this would be a free hit, and we did see the umpire just before um, showing the bowler that she probably is getting close and getting close. So it is going to be a free hit. So Joshi overstepping that front crease and being penalized. There we go. There we see the line belongs to the umpire, Dirk Lady. So Very close, but I think it's a good call by the umpire. Free hit coming up. Kaishon and Knight on strike. Looking for the big shot. Just got it as far as the fielder at deep at a shortish mid wicket. But of course, hitting in the air, but it's a free hit cannot be out except run out and she's not going to be out on that occasion so that's the end of the first over in the run chase West Indies set 135 to win their eight without loss yeah so West Indies started with McLean and Knight Matthews Nation Campbell Henry Gajnabi Grimman Allen Fletcher and Mohammed still to come so West Indies according to Marissa will need all of their batting to get 135 to win. Joshi starting for India. One over, conceding seven runs. And they, they would love to have a good opening stand. Uh, um, I don't think you want to lose too many wickets too early. Um, probably with matches just stepping down a little, probably giving herself that chance to come and look to rotate the spinners and, and play the spinners. She, she is a good player of spin. Um, she hasn't shown that in, in this T20 series, especially at uh, uh, in Providence here, but she is a good player of spin. She is the one player in the team that uses her feet to the spinners. And Uju Patel starts over number two. Lots of turn we see from the very first ball that she sent down. And it evaded the wicket keeper, but of the part of the batsman, so a leg by. But first delivery from the new bowler with a new ball. Lots of turn from this to the top end. Well, it's no surprise. We have seen the bowlers really spinning the, spin the deliveries that way. Certainly turn, it didn't bounce either. And look at the pace. Lack of pace on the delivery. Anuja Patel, not very tall, but lots of revolutions in that one. The dew factor, we saw the, the, the rope taken off the surface water a bit earlier between innings. And we saw the towels coming out. Punching off the back foot, but straight to the fielder, Kaishon and Knight. So how difficult it is for these bowlers to grip this new ball in these conditions, Clyde? I think at the moment it wouldn't be difficult because the ball hasn't been on the field a lot. But I think later on, probably after five, six overs or there, about, then you'll start to see the effect. There's an appeal for a stumping. Kaishon and Knight playing and missing the turning delivery that turned away from her. Umpire Jacqueline Williams. She's at point, not at square leg. Says not out. Let's have a look at it on the monitor. A nice flighted delivery. And Kaishon and Knight wandering out of her crease indeed, but got back in when the stumps were disturbed. Batia, we could keep her looking for the umpire at square leg. Of course, she's on the other side. This time, this delivery going through the arm. Good variety as well from Patel. Well, we have seen that in, in the games that she's bowled. She does get the ball to turn. She has good control and she has a, um, some variation as well. And uh, uh, I was telling Marissa, we'll see how many deliveries West Indies batsmen are going to play off the back foot already in this over. We've seen a few. And there we go again, another delivery of the back foot to end the second over in this run chase, which is yet to get on the way really. Nine without loss, West Indies after two. Yeah, and that's a little disappointing because I think I'm sure the coaches would have had a word with them um, about 
going looking to come on the front foot to push up to mid on mid off and when you look at that batting lineup to come you've got Matthews, Nation, Campbell, Henry they are all good players but, but in my opinion Matthews and Campbell are the key they, they, they have got to be because they play spin better than most of the others when you look at the scorecard as well it's just one scoring shot two overs completed just one scoring shot for West Indies Played outside the off stump, opening the face of the bat and running it down to third man. Coming back for the second, a belated call from McLean, but a good one in the end. She saw the opportunity and she called her partner through and they got the two that they needed. So 11. Well, I, I think what happened there, Kaishan and I got down very early and she had to wait on McLean to get to the other end before she turned for that second run. That was no foot movement across to a ball that was pitched and moving away from the right-hander. Just had a swing at it, missed it all together. McLean, some movement for the seamer, spin for the spinner. A good start for India with the ball. That's lucky not to get away with that one as well. That could have easily been called away. Going hard again with hard hands, getting the under edge, but very hard into the pitch as well. No timing at all for McLean. I think McLean is looking for power rather than for timing. She's not looking to time the ball. She's just looking to have a hit at some of those deliveries. She's got to think that the, the, you, you've got to look to rotate the strike. You cannot afford to be facing all of those dot balls. Another wide delivery outside the off stump. This time, not signal again. Well, not signal again. And we can see McLean asking umpire in a very smart way what happened there. Uh, certainly lucky to get away with that one, at least, I think. Uh, I would love to see that replay. That one certainly looked very wide indeed. As we look at it, um, just outside, yes, definitely a wide. Definitely should have been called away. Much closer to the body this time from Joshi. McLean on the back foot and driving but straight to the fielder. So while in the Indians were finding the gaps West Indies are finding the fielders. Major difference. I think the difference is, is, is that we need to play a little bit more with soft hands and look to rotate. You, yes, you've got a six in, uh, already, so you need to just keep the scoreboard ticking. You, there's no need for you to be facing all of those. That. Over the infield, the fielder, a deep uh, cover boundary coming off the boundary, vast tracker. And they will just get a single to not a big shot. So that's the end of three overs. West Indies, they're 12 without loss. Scoring at just 12, scoring just 12 so far from three overs, four runs and over for West Indies, which means they required 123 more at 7.2 per over. Good shot from um, McLean and looking for a single that is not on. The fielder had it in her hand as she was looking for a single. She thought it went past the fielder and she came out of her crease. Sometimes you need to take some chances, however. Need to be very smart. There she was, looking at the shot, and then she took off quickly and had to be sent back by night. Oi. 
So McLean still going with very hard hands to the ball. Perhaps you can just drop it right in front of her and get a single, Clyde. Rotation of the strike. Can agree with you more. She just needs to look to pick singles up. Come down the track, look to hit up to mid on. There. Keep up, keep up. Good well bowled again. Quicker, flatter, forcing McLean on the back foot. The Indian fielders have recognized that McLean is a power hitter. They're all hanging back on the circle. Nobody getting close at all. She's not only a power hitter. I don't think she's that quick between the thumbs as well. I, or maybe she's carrying a little bit of an injury as well because she doesn't look to be running well between the wickets. In the air, feel that deep mid wicket comes across and takes it quite easily. So McLean goes the first wicket for West Indies in this game, falling as well. So that's Natasha McLean holding out to deep mid wicket in the fourth over. West Indies losing. Natasha McLean caught by the pick up that field in a short while. And she's gone. Diol caught by Diol out of the ball of Patel for nine after hitting that one six. And Weston is losing the first wicket in over number four, 12 for one. I get the impression that McLean's role was to come out and have a real go at. Uh, uh, at the Indian bowlers, that delivery was pitched up. It was, and she went for it. Did pretty well, but picked out the, the fielder at deep mid wicket, and it was a relatively easy catch by that fielder. Little surprise again. The Chidi Nation has come out, and and, and not matches. Nation, 33 years old, 271 runs in her career, highest score of 63, 25 matches before this. So Nation, with lots of responsibility, is coming in at number three at the fall of the first wicket for West Indies. So she did Nation, replacing our fellow Jamaican, Natasha McLean, who just hold out a deep mid-wicket for nine. Interestingly, nine. McLean, she went for nine runs, faced 14 deliveries, of which 11 were dot balls. Just three scoring, scoring deliveries. A little bit of a misfeel there. And they got a they got a single an over true action. That's middle. So we're saying that McLean oh. used 14 balls to score nine with just three scoring shots. Lots of dot balls, 11. Well, I think McLean just came out and had a real go. What <laughs> she had a six second delivery uh, and then struggled and never tried to really work the ball or, or anything like that. She just kept going, just kept trying to hit the ball and. There's an appeal for like before she's given. Very full. Nation looking to sweep her first delivery and was sent on her way. Very good decision made by umpire Patrick Guster to a full delivery. Nation looking to go sweep and is out leg before to Patel for a golden duck. West Indies now in more trouble. 13 for two after two. Well, that's the first delivery she was facing. Ball well, was pitched up it was fairly straight it, matter of fact it looked to be this the straighter delivery as well that would have hit middle and leg um, halfway up so I don't think the umpire had any problems <laughs> with making that decision you could see the the, the, the wicket behind her and, and we see Henry now coming I'm, I'm a little baffled actually by, by the bottom at the moment um, whether we think in that uh, in the four six over the power play we are gonna try and score as much as possible but I think you need your best batsman in the middle when you're playing T20 cricket um, to come out and look to score and, and rotate the strike and to control things as well. So Henry coming out for her 23rd match, highest of 21, not out, just 24 years, 139 career runs so far. I'm not sure why Henry will be coming now. Henry um, not not having a good time with a bat in the series so far, 2, 8 and 11. That's a wide delivery to start over number five. And the umpires finally called the wide. So that's Joshi in her third over. Starting her third over starts with a wide. Kaishona Knight on strike. Knight has faced ten deliveries, nine of which are dot balls. Is 
that something new with West Indian players? I'm just stating the obvious. Another dot ball. So no rotation in the strike at all, especially in this the power play. The first six over of the innings, they would want to use the the extra space in the outfield to get some runs, work the gaps, get the singles, get your feet go moving. If you look around the field, you see lots of acreage on the offside. Ring of feelers on the on the outside for left-handed Kaishona Knight. Seems as if he's batting in the nets. Another delivery driven back up to the bowler. Kaishona Knight. Pressure certainly building on, on, on the West Indian batters. Oh! Having said that, you've got to give the Indian bowlers some credit as well because I think they've bowled well. They've bowled wicket to wicket, not giving the batsmen any chance to really use their arms. They've kept um, things fairly tight. But having said that, you've got to be able to rotate and pick up singles at this level. Right arm coming over, three. Ah! Oh, Henry getting off the mark, running this one down to third man. She gets a single. She's a, on a 100% strike rate, one from one. A nice little crowd building up to watch this final encounter as well. So India on the verge, maybe we can say a bit early, but we can say on the verge of a five-nil series triumph. Clyde. You're very early. Still lots of time in this game. It's only the, the fifth over being bowled. Like I said, a nice, nice little crowd building. The, the stand is so big, it's hard to see. It's hard to see the total attendance for this game. As you, not over completed. So West Indies looking to get 135 to win from 20 after five overs, 16 for two. Just looking at that batting card with McLean, 9 off of 14. Kais Knight is on 2 from 15 delivery. And Shadi Nation failed to trouble the scorers, Henry and 1. Um, Matthews and Campbell, probably two better players in the team, still to come. As I say, welcome back to Marissa Aguilero. Um, bowling, Joshi, 3 overs and... 13 runs, she was hit for a 6 in the very first over, and Patil, 2 oh. over, 1 maiden, 1 run, 2 hits, very tight in the, continues to worry all the batsmen. Hey, Mr. Bats, um, and this is... This is a cause of for, con for concern when you look at uh, how the West oh, no, Indies batters are approaching the innings. Uh, too many dot balls. Too many dot balls. Too many dot balls. See, and that uh, when you look at the feelers uh, in the 25-yard circle, they are at the edge of the, the, the circle. And if you realize how Jemima and Chris... Krishna Murthy, how they went about their business, dropping the ball and getting so um, using soft hands and getting the sharp singles. Uh, 
That is what is needed. That's a single function of Henry. Long to long on. Oh, we need to see more of that. We need to see more of pushing the ball up to mid on, mid off, or looking to hit over mid off rather than going on the back foot looking to cut. And uh, uh, as we said earlier on, we're looking at the Indian batsmen and see how they use their feet, push up to mid on, mid off. You know how many cut shots already we have seen from the West Indian batsmen or playing the ball off their back foot? We have Kai Shona Knight, two of 16 deliveries. Well, the intent was there. I think she was looking probably to go over long off. Um, hit it along the ground and hit it straight to, to, to mid off. Yeah, but she, she really needs to do better than that, especially where the run rate, the run rate required is creeping up. It's 8.23. She needs to get going. When you soak up so many balls on the top, it creates pressure for the other batters coming behind. We have Haley Matthews, one of the experienced batter, Shemaine Campbell. And I'm thinking Shemaine Campbell should have been up the order. She's one of the batters who can uh, stabilize the innings and get the single. She's a good runner between the wickets. And Matthews as well, uh, a shocker today. Seen her down the order, not seen her in the attackers yet. But hopefully she can uh, she can do something in the middle. So after the sixth over, the West Indies batters they're 18 for two. So we have Yada, rather Yada, into the attack. Left hand, orthodox. Left arm over. And when you look at Kai Shona and the way she plays throughout the, the series. Uh, she had 12 and 8 and naught. And then she gets promoted. How, how do you... Well, that was, that was a real slug. She was looking to hit that somewhere in uh, what we call a cow corner. Left arm out of ducks, pitched up outside off some spun as well. And just missing the legs down. So if you're struggling, you put you up the back. Well, I think sometimes uh, they give the player the benefit of the doubt to come and just express themselves and uh, give them that opportunity to take up the responsibility and, and do something for the team. But you can see that she's struggling. She's three of 19 deliveries. She would be thinking to hit the ball hard, but it's not about that. It's all about trying to get the gaps. This is the, the biggest problem of the, the West and these batters. Uh, they are not looking to use the crease. They are not looking to, to get down the wicket and hit the ball down the ground in the Vs. And it's really, it's about taking pattern off for of the, the India batters, the way how they batted, they hit it in the Vs, they came on the wicket looking for the singles, playing short, soft hand, and that is what it's all about. And even then, we're hitting the ball over the bowler head. There was no time in there. There was no time. What she's doing, she's just trying to hit up the delivery. She's not trying to 
stroke it up to mid off mid on or look to work it into the gaps on the on side. She's just trying to hit all the time. Yeah, and that's it. She she's trying to to muscle the ball. Where she should just be allowing the ball to come to her and, and hitting it gracefully. But she, she's just trying to use more muscles than anything else. I know she's a really good player. She has the ability to score, but she has to understand the pitch that she's playing on. Oh, you it! Oh, you it! Over. And after the seventh over, West Indies team, they are 19 for two. You can see. Let's see, let's see. Chanel Henry, uh, LBW shout. And she has really long legs, uh, and she's not getting them out. I think she's playing from the crease. Um, that delivery, she may have just been gotten away with it because it pitched just about off. Someone might be turning just across, but certainly good bowling. Looking at that batting, Karen McLean, 9 from 14. Knight is on 4 from 22 deliveries. Chile Nation didn't get a score, and Henry's on 2 from 6. So... None of the batsmen so far has been able to get on with things, has been able to rotate the strike. And I always used to say, I'd rather somebody hit me for four in an over and a bowl to one batsman rather than bowl to both. If you rotate and you get four singles, you upset the bowler. He would, and now we have Puna and Yadav coming into the attack. Um, it, 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 it tends to take from the bowler and the bowler would try something different and will give you a bad ball. But if you're just standing there and trying and hitting and muscling every delivery, the bowler's happy with that. Yes, I know the India bowlers, they will definitely be happy about that. The way they approach uh, their bowling, uh, they have been bowling really well throughout the series, the entire bowling attack. You know, they have the West Indies team from 7.1 overs. They are 20 for 2. So this is a really good bowling by the India bowlers. That's a good shot by Henry. Short ball and hitting that one to mid-wicket for a single. Okay, like ball so slow. Yes, she balls like spin, but you can easily get to the pitch of those deliveries and look to hit them um, up to, to mid off, mid on, or even go over the top. And she's sweeping that one from outside the off stamp. And okay, okay, Mr. Bass, I have seen these players play shot like this, where you going down, moving their foot nicely down the wicket and hitting it in the Vs over extra cover. These players, they have the shots, but they are just not producing it. Is it that they just don't have the confidence to do it? Maybe that's it. I mean, when you're not scoring, you tend to think, um, I'm not in form and just needs to try and stay out there and, and bat and bat instead of looking to rotate. And, and that's, that's the way you take pressure off yourself. Picking up a single, giving the other batsman a chance to bat, uh, and we'll keep working things around. Because they are, they are digging themselves into a pity. Eh? The run rate required is 9.3. You know the pitch is not one way you can just go out there and hit. And it will create pressure for the other batters to come in. Haley Matthew, Shemaine Campbell, Gashnabi Grimman. So it's a lot of pressure being created for the other batters who needs to come in. And so after the eight over, the West Indies batters, they are 23 for two. Twenty-three for two after eight overs. Certain doesn't read very well for, for the West Indies when you're chasing 134. Yeah, and when you look at this batting card, uh, nothing really to talk about. McLean oh, getting nine or 14 deliveries. You have night not out. Six from 21, 24 deliveries, and Henry four from 10. Ooh. 
And even then with the big shot, you can see it's hard to time. Left arm spin a bowling, turning the ball a little, getting the ball to go across the right-handed Henry. She was down the track and looking to heave it over mid-wicket. There was no timing in the shot. So it's hard to hit boundaries. And Knight continues to tug the ball, to struggle, not getting close to that one, but the runs are coming, most important. <laughs> Anyhow it comes, they need to take it. Well, we, knew that we need a few good overs if we're going to um, bring this game back on track. Um, 8.2 overs, 26 runs. And with the spinners bowling well, taking the pace off the deliveries, not giving the batsman the pace to work with, it's certainly building a lot of pressure on the West Indian batters. Bat Knight's certainly struggling with her timing. And she just really needs to settle and enjoy her button. You can see that she's forcing it. She's not looking to, to look at um to get the gaps and to get the, the singles and the two. She's just poor hitting the ball. She just needs to relax and enjoy her game. She's a good batter. She has been around the team for a while. So it's all about trying to... Yeah, I've been occupying the crease for quite a while, 27 balls. I think that's enough time to know what is happening. In a T20 game? And Chanel Henry, she's not a, a strong player of the spin. So I know this will be a test for her as well. I think the thing is, Marissa, that they have to go. It's no point of just batting out the, the overs. You have to take a chance. You have to go. At and that's another single to the tally. And uh, West Indies batters after the nine over, nine to over, they are 28 for two. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at cuca.org. Oh, Mr. Butts, 9.73. Normally you would say one of the batsmen ha batters have to go, but this time I think you have to say that they both have to take a chance. Um, you've got Matthews in the hut. You, 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 you. You've got Campbell. So they need to take a chance. Oh, no, 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 no. That's out. Caught behind. She was going back again, looking to cut at a very slow delivery. Um, got the, I think, was the bottom edge. I was well taken by the wiki keeper. And well done by Batia. She has been doing really well behind the stump. Uh, that wicket, uh, Chanel Henry goes for six from 14 deliveries. Never looked like uh, she was settled. And we have, uh, when you look at this dismissal, you can see she's going back again trying to cut that one but what good job my bat here behind the stump well bowled by Poonam it's a good working so finally we have uh, Haley Matthews coming into the attack and her team's team is under some pressure 9.88 21 years of age 46 matches 107 not out highest score highest and you score. would have thought that off? being yeah, that's off. the best batsman in the team at the moment like she would have been she would have been either opening or batting at number three that's left. thank you 
There's no way that your best bat, bat is supposed to be coming in at number five in a T20 game. Is that a peel, Mr. Bats? Yeah, I think she was just asking <laughs> quietly. How is that? Because she probably thought that it hit the bad pad first before the bat. And you can see Haley Matthews taking a long stride. I think that's the difference with, he, with her and the other players. She comes, she uses her feet, she comes on the front foot, tries to, tries to get to the pitch of the deliveries. That's a single, she's off the mark. And when we spoke about earlier the pressure that is created by the batters, when you look at Kai Shona Knight, who's nine runs from 27 deliveries, she has to be able to make it up somehow or the other, get some boundaries and get that strike rate up. Because her strike rate is 33.33 at this moment. And in T20 crickets, uh, that's not good at all. Good on. Good on. Good on. See, I see people so much. Do not require what? 106? 106 runs? In 10 overs. And after the 10th over, halfway there, the West Indies batters, they are 29 for 3. West Indies trying to get their feet on that ac accelerator just can't come out of the block so far. Just the openers nine each, and other than that, it's been a struggle. Nation no score. Henry six. Matthews just gotten there. She's on one. Joshi Patel, Rada Punam Vastraka, the new the new bowler, but uh, India certainly looking very well, very clinical in the field. They've been feeling very well supporting the bowlers. Puja Vastraka, right term, medium paces on is into the attack. So Western is really struggling. 29 for loss of three after 10 overs. And you can hear Marissa not very pleased at all. This one is hit uppishly from Haley Matthews, a slow delivery. And she has to work for a little bit of pace there. So slow track. So fast track and now getting an opportunity. Yeah, Jen, I'm really disappointed with what I'm seeing. Uh, they continue to show how much they missed Captain Stefani Taylor. That's a quick single. Good running by both batters. And they continue to show how much they miss their captain Stefani Taylor and uh, even the big hitter Deandra Dotton. But uh, the, the cricket cannot continue like this. The, I know these players are important. They, are, they always have a team, always have star players. I mean, uh, it's Haley Matthews, a really good player as well. But other players need to, to put up their hand and really try to get something, get some scores going because. Uh, he, he didn't really have much players chipping in. When you think about uh, Shemaine Campbell, she played well in a few innings. Uh, and also Shady Nation in the ODIs. But other than that, uh, not much batters came to the party. And it's all about consistency. The only thing that is consistent about the West Indies batting is that 
consistently not getting big scores. And that has been a bit of a worry for West Indies in this series. Bold. Hilly Matthews played over that one and lost her stump. Vast Tracker striking her first over. West Indies sinking to four the trouble. 31 now for the loss of four and over number 11. Matthews bowled by Vast Tracker for just two. And another nail in the coffin for West Indies. Yeah, and Haley Matthews should be really disappointed about that. Vast Trucker, yeah. wicket to wicket. Well bowled. Haley Matthews going across that one, not getting in a stride. And unfortunately, she has to go. Playing over and lost her off stump. So joining McLean, nine nation, no score. And Henry back in the hut. And now Shemaine Campbell. Experienced 27 year old coming to the middle, 98 matches, highest of 45, 734 career runs, but a disappointing average of just 13.34. She has been a wrong cricket for a long time, lots of experience, 98 matches before this. Should want to get that average up, but she's here now to face the music. Fast tracker is on a high. He gets a full toss first up and cannot put it away. She came with a defensive mindset, it looks like. Yeah, and Shemaine Campbell, she's a player. She's always committed. Uh, she's aggressive. Uh, she's a good runner between the wickets. And uh, it's really difficult for them to really come in and, and start hitting. Because right now, it. The run rate required is 11.56, so it's really difficult. So not overcoming to an end. The first for Vast Track, a successful one. West Indies 31 for the loss of four. Puna Mirav is going to continue. Two overs, one for five before this. West Indies just can't seem to get a ball off the square. Knight takes strike. Down the track and tugging this one into the onside. There's a feeder at the straightish mid wicket on the boundary, posted right back. West Indies just trying to get their innings into that second gear, but just can't seem to find the gear so far. Yeah, and singles will not cut it, John. Not at this point in time. 11.66 runs required. So they need some boundaries. Down the track, making it into a full toss. Campbell, and the feel of misfeeling at long on, but will not going to cost anything at all because the batsmen were not aware. That's Kaishana Knight turning her back on Campbell. And just a single. Bad miss. Yeah, and this is really disappointing knowing that Kaishona she's not scoring much runs. Right? And look at look at her approach. She's just running, not looking at the ball, not being aware of what is happening around her. So this is not good cricket at all by the West Indies team. Ordinary and casual running. This time she tucks it into the onside again and will pick up a boundary. Diving over the ball, could not come up with a save. And Patil, guilty on that occasion. She did well the previous delivery. Two previous deliveries, but now a boundary for Kaishana Knight. Knight has been there for quite some time now. She started innings, in fact, got a full delivery, and she swept it in front of Square. And the fielder trying her best to get it. Could not come up with the save. She moves on to 15. Kaishana Knight and Weston is 37 for 4. She goes again trying to force that one. But uh, the West Indies team will really want to get uh, uh, two good overs. Two, not just good, but big overs. Because uh, the run rate it is climbing. 
and they really need to get it down as low as possible getting into the latter part of the innings down the track and getting a boundary again once again another boundary for Kaishona Knight she now got the message so she's now hitting the boundaries looking for the gaps looking to be aggressive picking up a boundary through mid wicket and this is good going by her because she realized that the fielder they moved around the fielder a bit more more backward of 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 of, of square and she got the opportunity where she could have lifted over mid wicket forward mid wicket and really getting onto that ball and getting four runs she went out of a crease and went back in perhaps the most expensive over for india in this innings and west indies don't mind that at all 41 for four after 12. when you look at this batting card 41 for four you have night on 19 from 35 deliveries uh henry out from six six from 14 deliveries uh Haley matthews uh two and campbell uh, one you have Gashnabi Grimman, uh, Leah Aling, uh, Afi Fletcher, Mohammed still to come. Fast tracker start of a new over balls to Campbell. Campbell got a low full toss looking to get it away. You see the intent is there between Campbell and Kaishana Knight. Maybe trying their level best right now to get back into the run rate. That's a very good positive shot, but good feeling as well. So India India has been very good. Good support for the bowlers. That's Krishna Murthy supporting nicely in the field. So Bastrak already with a wicket under her belt. And slipping out. So it's the Jupe perhaps coming into play now, Marissa. Yeah, you can see that one not reaching on the pitch. <laughs> She's having a laugh. And it's good to see. In spite of uh, the uh, all over West Indies at this moment, uh, they are still having a laugh and enjoying themselves in the process. And that's what it's all about enjoying your game. Thick outside edge from Knight. White third man, just a single. Three weeks coming to an end tonight. Three weeks bilateral series. They had three 50 overs game in Antigua. They started this T20 series in St. Kitts, in St. Lucia, sorry. And then, of course, in Guyana, wrapping up with the final three. So. This is a big one from uh, Campbell, and she's going to get a boundary as a fielder there at deep mid wicket. Could not get around. That's Jemima Rodriguez, so another boundary for West Indies, and that's a nice passage of play, we'd want to say. Full delivery from Vast Tracker. Campbell was quick to hit it through the onside. One bump, and the fielder they're trying, but could not get there. And this is good going by Campbell. You can see her positive approach to the batting. She knows that uh, the required run rate is over 10. So she's really trying. She's really trying. And she's a she's the vice captain actually. So she will understand what she needs to do. It's all about taking up the responsibilities. And she's so just showing Kaishona Knight that fast track has just given her a very slow, slow, slow one. <laughs> and there is some adjustment in the field placing. That's a good stop by Vastraka. Campbell hitting back of the track and Vastraka and a follow through knocks it down. Really competitive stuff, like you said, despite winning this series already. This is the final game of this five match series for India and West Indies. India leading 4 0, but still playing very hard.
smart batting, playing with the soft hands. That should have been the order of the day from the very start of this innings, but that's not the case. So at the end of 13 overs, West Indies replying to 134 for three made by India. They're, 80, they're 48 for four. This is a very important partnership for West Indies if they're going to get anywhere close to 135. Knight is on 20 and Campbell just got into the crease but she's busy so far in her little innings of 7. The successful bowlers for India so far. Patil, 2 for 3 from 3 overs including a maiden. Poonam and Vastraka, the other successful bowlers used. Harleen Diyal is going to pick up the attack. She's going to be coming into the attack from the northern end of the ground. The media center end. Just replacing Poonam Yadav, who bowled three overs, one for 15. Yadav. So it's good to see the franchise, the ladies franchise in Trinidad. I rather suspect, Marissa, you'll be very busy with that franchise in some capacity. Very much so. I'm actually uh, managing the the South team, Southern Titans. Shout out to my players. <laughs> and we have uh, we have uh, uh, our skipper with us. Uh, that's uh, Stephanie Taylor. Uh, she will be playing with the Southern Titans for the first time. This is her first year in the franchise cricket in Trinidad. So how many teams will be involved? So they have four teams in the competition. Uh, and uh, we had uh, Anissa Mohammed team winning the tournament last year. Not a quick single taken. Playing with the soft hands again. And uh, Leanne Kirby. Member of Trinidad and Tobago women's cricket team, she led her team to the to victory in the first year. But the the tournament is going nicely. They have a lot of crowd support, a lot of sponsorship on board, and it's something that is really progressing in the right direction. And I really want to commend the CWI for taking up the initiative to assist in sponsorship for the West Indies players as well. So we are heading in the right direction. This one is in the air. Feel it coming around, but they will just have to be fielding it, dropping in no man's land. And two more to West Indies. The fifth coming up. West Indies exactly 51 for the loss of four in over number 14. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good competition. Good T20 competition, full of excitement. Players always look forward to heading to Trinidad for this tournament. It's quite a bit late this year. That's a full toss. An appeal for a leg before will not be, should not be given on that occasion from umpire Guster, but leg by signaled. So when do you leave, um, Guyana? After this replay, you see the all bowling a full toss. Knight going down for the big shot on one knee and hitting her outside leg. But of course, it's not a full toss. Rotation in the strike, nonetheless. So, when do you go to Trinidad? I can't wait to be back in my homeland tomorrow morning. Please, the Lord. <laughs> well that's a pity because in Guyana there's what is called since you love Guyanese cuisine what is called Guyanese restaurant week beginning on Friday and we'd have been happy to have you at home in Guyana to have some to try some of the delicacies at a very reduced rate dinner and lunch at all of the top class restaurants in Guyana In the air, soft dismissal. She lost her bat and her wicket in the process. 
So wicket number five going down. That's a very soft dismissal, you would say, for Kaishona Knight. She started the innings with Natasha McLean, and she's the uh, fifth batsman to go in over number 14. West Indies now 53 for five, with Knight going caught by Vastraka off the bowling of Diol for 22 after a slow start. Yeah, and when you look at that, uh, she got the room. It was a loose delivery and really, really poor execution by Kai Shona Knight. Five down, so they've lost half of their batting already, West Indies. And that's not what the doctor ordered at all in this run chase. We're hoping that they can get over the hurdle. New batsman coming out is one of the three Guyanese in the team, Shanita Grimmond. 21 years of age for the three runs in her career so far very young career she want to get that average of 7.16 up highest of 15 so Guyana restaurant week begins on Friday we'll run until the 1st of December and Caribbean Inn Hotel will be having a seafood delight so it would have been, it's a pity that I'm saying that you're leaving that would have been such a treat for you yeah, and I really love uh, seafood, John. I really love seafood. <laughs> it's unfortunate that I'll be leaving, but uh, to be honest, I'm really happy to be going home. It's always good to be home. <laughs> Powerful shot, back past the bowler. The feeler coming wrong at, from long off. That will tidy up. So Campbell trying to be aggressive, hit him back past the bowler. Fast tracker could not stop it. But it's tidied up at long off. Full delivery from from the bowler. Even the umpire had to take evasive action as well. And that's why we see a lot of umpires, especially in the men's game, with protective wear as well. Good move by Jacqueline. Chance for a run out at a non striker's end, but the fielder did not hit the woodwork. Shanita Grayman started slowly. She had two minds. And eventually, she went through, and young Shafali Verma could not hit the stumps at a non striker's end. Yeah, and I think uh, Grayman is just thinking about getting Campbell back on strike. She knows that Campbell is a good hitter of the ball, run rate required 14.55. If you look at this attempted run out uh, Krimon, she was so low off the mark this one is a not a quick single taken but not suicidal like the previous one but still West Indies need to be very aware that the Indian feelers are very good the Indians not giving anything away Fifty-six for five in over number, over number fifteen. And the India bowlers, they continue to show how well they have been doing throughout the tournament. And, uh, Smriti Mandana, she will be happy about her team performance today. That's a late cut from Grimman. Runs for West Indies, gone for one, coming back for the second now, and we'll get it quite easily. So good positive running now. The intent has been there since when Kaishona Knight was previous was, was just at a wicket. So that's the end of 15 overs in a run chase. West Indies are 58 for the loss of five.
So after the 15th over, the West Indies batters, they are 58 for 5. Campbell sweeping at that one. Can only get one. Run rate is climbing 15.72. Require, required at this point in time. Come on. Oh. Oh. So is it that uh, the India team are on to a 5 nil defeat? It's definitely looking that way, Marissa. Um, to win from here would certainly take a lot of it in. <laughs> That's a wide delivery. and trying to get close to that but that's another one added to the tour to the score sorry <laughs> and german nice try nice try in She's coming on the front foot pushing back up the pitch um, probably deciding she's going to try and bat for as long as possible, bat out the overs, maybe look for a 20 25 not out. Hitting that one down to a long on for a single. And we have Campbell back on strike. She has been really trying to. To hit the ball, she's 12 of 15 deliveries. She seems to be the one that looks positive when she came out. I think I'm with Camus, she has used her feet, uh, and that's what we haven't seen the other, the other batters do. They haven't been able to use their feet against the Indian spinners. And not just that, she, she can work the ball around and pick up the singles. And this is what was required earlier in the innings. This is what uh, Natasha McLean and, and Kai Shawn and I, they, they was not doing that. I agree. I think they looked to muscle the ball more than anything else. There was no intent on rotation of the strike. It was all about muscling the ball. And it was the Indian spinners bowled well. And even the seamers, they bowled straight. And that was hard to do. And then it comes down to too much work for the other batters to do. Because on this pitch, you can't afford to to just come into, into the middle and expect to hit sixes and fours. Uh, it's in, almost impossible to do it. So you can see Campbell trying to get going, but it's, it's really difficult. And with the caliber of, of the India bat bowlers and the way how they're going about their business, it's really, really hard. That's another single to Grimman. So after the 16th over, the West Indies batters, they are 63 for five. Oops. West Indies have certainly made hard work of, of, of this. When you look at that batting card, um, Knight getting 22, but off 39 deliveries. And then Campbell uh, has got 13 from 16. She seems to be the only player that has looked to work the ball into the gaps, use her feet, and she runs well between the wickets as well. So the question again is, why did she bat so late? But that's gone. What they've probably got to try and do now is just bat and see what they can get. And looking at the bowling, the Indian bowlers have always been tight. In all three games that we have seen he played here, they've bowled fairly tight, not giving the batsman any chance to, to play off the back foot. Bowling very slow, and every time they go on the back foot, they're in trouble. And we have Radha back into the attack. She has been really tight so far. Two of us, uh, six runs. So she has been bowling really tight. She has been economical throughout the series. She has been, and she, she has taken some wickets as well. 
and she caused all the batsmen some trouble because she does give the ball a little bit of a rip. Oh, that! And that's a good ball there. I rather again. That one uh, pitching a little bit on the off stump. And Grimman, you can see that she's looking to take over her guard. Not too sure where she's going. But Grimma needs, needs to be a little more aggressive than that. She must understand what is happening now. Your required run rate is over 20 runs. And there she goes, stomp. A good stomping by Batia yet another time. She has been good behind the stomp. Uh, Grimman just guilty there of just charging down the pitch. I don't think she looked to see where uh, she was going to bowl that delivery. She just gave it the charge. It, it, the bowler saw her come and just pulled it down a little and it spun away from her and she was out stumped. Again, good bowling, good sensible bowling. And certainly but that, it, it was a lot of pressure on Grimman as well because like you just said, she needs to try and score. Um, just looking to come down the track, heaving away to leg, missed it completely. I was out stumped. Yes, and the umpire sending her on her way. We have uh, Shabika Gashnabi, 19 years of age, four matches, highest of 11. Average of 7.66. Pretty young into the business, a lot to go. Pretty young, and a lot is expected of her. Um, she looked good in the field. Didn't bowl as well as as we know she can. She had a couple of overs, so she's coming out to try and give some support to Campbell. Straight away, we're going on the back foot, looking to punch through the offside. It's not been easy um, to play off the back foot, and when, especially when the bowlers are bowling that slow on you. And you're bowling on a pitch that is slow as well. And she's hitting that one to cover for a single. And after the 17 over, the West needs batters. They are 64 for six. That's a lot of pressure and looking at that, the batting lineup, the batting card certainly doesn't read well. Mm, it's 22 by Knight and 13 by Campbell, but look at the amount of dot balls that they, that well, especially Kaisi and Knight have faced. Yeah, it's really disappointed when you look at that batting card uh, and you can see that no player scoring a runner ball or above 100 That's strike it. rate. Right, I'm coming over to you. Indian bowlers have certainly dominated. And what different we saw today as well. We saw them opening with a seamer and Joshi and she bowled pretty well as well. So they have the variations. So we have Gashnabi. She can hit the ball. I know that I've seen her so many times. And uh, probably she's thinking now that the game is out of our hands. So let me just occupy the crease and see to face some balls. 2.5 balls remaining in the game. But you still got to try and impress somewhere along the line. As, as you said, the executive selector may be here. We're looking at the game. And she, she would, you would want to impress the selectors if you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about um, going on to play what many more games are West Indies? Yeah, I think the executive selector, Miss Brown, she will be in Trinidad and looking on live stream. But uh, they have the other selector, Mr. Travis Dowling. He will be in the stand looking on. I know he probably might be a bit disappointed with what he's seeing. But apart from what we have here, <coughs> We've got a few injured players, but is there a lot more players to choose from in the region in terms of their quality and, and the ability to, to represent West Indies? 
And that's the problem we have in the Caribbean. We don't have a, a big pool of players when you look at the the Australian and the English and how much players and the development process and I know the CWI is really thinking about that and probably they can get a, a A team going, A team to try to develop uh, the younger players and, and get them get them ready for the international level. So how do how do you see we moving forward? I think the territories has to play a lot more of a big role as well in terms of what happen, what is happening in the region? Yeah, because when you look at the Trinidad and Tobago Women's Cricket Association, we have a lot of programs going on. Even right now, we have a high-performance camp uh, where we have the senior players, uh, over 20 players in that camp. Then we have an under-17 um, in training as well. They travel to Tobago to, to play two games on the 23rd. So there's a lot of things happening so and, and and you're right to, to say that the territorial boards really have to pick up the responsibilities to try to get women's cricket to the next level don't really depend on the cwi only but they have to take it up to really try to to, to get women's cricket to where we really want it to be in the caribbean yes i agree with you and, and i think that the thing for me is that there must be consistent competitions for the for, for the ladies in, in, in the different territories, whether it's going to be five, six teams in, in a territory, but it must be cricket that is being played and played consistently. Yes, and after the 18th over, the West and his team, they are 68 for six. Certainly, that doesn't read very well, does it? Uh, when you think that the last game we were chasing 51, was it? And we struggled, and, and now we are chasing 100. And uh, well, that game was a nine overs, mind you, and this this time it's 20 overs. And we, um, you know, it's certainly very tough that we are 68 for six. Yeah, I know the players they will be really disappointed in the management staff, um, even the coach, Mr. Gus Logie. He's really, uh, he really wants the win and uh, he, he takes his game really seriously. And you have the other coaches, uh, Mr. Griffith and uh, Mr. Walsh as well, trying to assist the ladies. But uh, these ladies really have to pick it up on themselves to, to mature, not, you know, to mature mentally. I know they have a psychologist with them, but uh, you can't afford to, uh, when you reach in position, certain position, to always be asking the psychologist, you know, what should I do here? No, they will not always be. You know, the, the, the staff is there to, pre to, to prepare you and then send you off. Uh, so it's all about trying to, to develop yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally. Keep up. You're so right, because when you get out into the middle, you've got to be prepared to play cricket, and you've got to try and, un try and understand the game, understand the situation, understand what is going on around you, so that you, you can then perform to your best. And this is a chance for a run out. Direct hit, and she's gone. And Gash Nabi, she goes run out trying to sneak a single but unfortunately she did not get in good bit of feeling work by the ball as well because she had to run around then turn around uh, rather and then hit those stumps and she did good bit good work good bit of work so gosh Nabi goes for three for me deliveries you can see a, a good piece of feeling by the bowler of her own bowling Spinning around and hitting that wicket direct plum. And she's catch, gone. catch Nabi, Nabi guilty as well of not really <laughs> trying to get in. She, I don't think she was trying. She was going very casual. She was very casually. And we have the new batter, Alia Alling. 24 years of age, two matches, high score of eight. So the 
West Indies team they will be looking to battle the over at least. And they, I know they realize that they cannot make the runs. But it's all about trying to, to battle the over and see how close they can get to that target and misfield there. I think. Uh, Joshi, guilty party. But uh, Mr. Buss, going back to understanding the game, I think that is a big part of the player's responsibility it's to make sure and understand what is happening in, in, in the game of cricket and, and their personal game on and off the field. That's true, but if you're not accustomed to playing cricket at a certain level, it, it's always going to be difficult for you. Yeah, because it's all about the experience. Because you need to actually experience doing it in the middle and playing fairly competitive cricket and not just one-off tournaments uh, uh, um, uh, like I know happens in Guyana. Uh, when it's near time for the regional, then you may have a, a three or four team playoff. I think that's, that's a little too much ask in the ladies to really then turn up at the highest level and to perform. And after the 19 to over, the West Indies team, they are 71 for 7. When you look at the batting cards, you really disappoint everyone. I mean, McLean gone for 9, uh, Kaishona Knight, 22 nation. She didn't trouble the score. Henry for, for 6, uh, Matthews 2, Campbell not out on 18 from 22 deliveries, Grimman 5 from 11. Gashnabi run out on three. So a really disappointing batting card uh, from the West and East team. Once again, you have to really say well That's done to the, to, to the Indian bowlers. They've all bowled well. And you look at that bowling card, everybody has, has stepped up their game. Um, the wickets have been shared. Patil taking two for three. But certainly all the bowlers have stepped up their game and have bowled well. And I think that's the thing with this series that I have noticed, that the Indian bowlers adapt and adjust themselves well to conditions. Yeah, we have Joshi back into the attack. That's a good shot. And Yarling coming off the mark. And... You, you probably may be thinking that the West and this team, they should understand their pitches so much better than the opposition. Uh, I mean, the India team came to the Caribbean and they look compact. They look like they understand what is happening and the way how they approach their batting, their bowling. And when you look at the West and this team, we look pretty confused in the batting department. So is it that we struggle again on the slower pitches? So you're saying that we should have prepared pitches that play a little quicker in the Caribbean? Yes, I think we should have. Especially knowing that we are going, we are heading to Australia for the World Cup. Right? So we should have prepared faster pitches because you know that uh, the pitches in, in Australia are really good pitches. So they should have, Mr. Bud. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. I just wanted to see what you were going to say because I, I totally agree with you. And it's not only that uh, you're playing against one of the better teams or one of the teams that actually plays on slower pitches in, in the world. And why shouldn't you use your, your home advantage? But in their team, they have been doing really well. In last T20 World Cup, they went to the semifinals. Went to the semi finals and uh, even the 50 overs, they were in the finals, so they have been doing really well as a team. Agreed, and obviously, they play to their strength, they know what, they, what, what, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and they, they play towards those. And, we, and if you look at their bowling, it, it tells a story. This, I think, and this is the first game in Guyana that we've seen them open with a seamer. They, have, they looked at the pitch, they adapted. I said, well, this pitch is going to be slow, so we're going to use our slow bowlers. Come tonight, it's probably a little bit quicker than we, we see before. 
And they open with a seamer. And that's what it's all about, uh, traveling and adapting as fast as possible. And they didn't really have much time to adapt to the, to the Caribbean, but uh, I mean, they have played here. I mean, a couple of them have played here already. So it's all about really trying to, to come and, and, and get the ball running as fast as possible. And that is exactly what the India team did. They have been on top of the games throughout the series. They did well in the bowling and batting department. And it's something that the West Indies should take pattern of. So we have one more ball remaining before the end of the match, Mr. Butts. Well, I think the Indians can be pretty happy. Well, they will be pretty happy with the way things have gone for them. They're going to beat the West Indies 5-0 at home. Um, yes, you might say when you get beat 3-0, you tend to think, well, we just started playing a little late, but then you get beat 5-0, you know. So we know Smutty uh, Mandana, the captain, she will be really pleased with her team performance. So let's say congratulations to the India team for winning this match by 62 runs, Mr. Butts. Congratulations to them. They have done well throughout the tournament. They have been disciplined in every department, in the bowling department, the batting department, in the fielding department. Well done by the India team. And I know the West Indies team would be really disappointed about the way they performed throughout the series. Certainly there will be. And just looking at that batting card, it doesn't read well. McLean 9, Knight 22, Nation not. Henry 6, Matthews 2, Campbell not out 19, Grimmon 5, Gajnabi 3, Allen not out 1. That's not a very good batting card. The Indian bowler certainly bowled well. Joshi 4 for 15. Patil, um, 3 overs, 1 maiden, 3. Three runs, two wickets, well bowled. Rada, one for 10 off of four. Punan, one for 15. Vastrika, one for 14. And Dial, one for 13 off three. Certainly, good bowling performance by the Indian bowlers. Hi, I'm Moin Ashra from All Round the Cricket, and today we're going to review the brand new 2019 Jasper SkyDrive 117 cricket shoes. Every cricketer should look for three features in a cricket shoe. Support, comfort and durability. And the Jasper SkyDrive 117 offer these in abundance. A long lasting cushion in sock conforms to your foot shape providing not only the cushioning and comfort you need, but valuable energy return, impact protection and adaptive support. On the market for $59.99, these cricket shoes are a high level cricket shoe at a fraction of the price. Um, West Indies, <coughs> India West Indies winning toss, putting in into, into bat, India 134 for 3, Krishnamurti 57, Rodriguez 50, um, Machus 1 for 23, Allen 1 for 23, Mohammed 1 for, 20, for 26, West Indies women in reply, 73 for 7 from 20 overs, Knight 22, Campbell 19, McLean 9, Henry 6, Patil 2 for 3, Yadav 1 for 10, Dial 1 for 13, Vastrika 1 for 14, India Woman 1 by, one by 6 to 1 runs. And you can see how well the India team did throughout this T20 tournament. Uh, even uh, the Stadnet off in the 50 overs, the ODIs, uh, Western is winning by one run, but after that, it was all India. Uh, winning by 53 and then winning by six wickets after the T20 starting started in St. Lucia the first uh, game they won well actually they won the all the games 
five nil winning by 85 84 runs uh, 10 wickets seven wickets five runs and the last game tonight uh, 62 runs well done by the india women's team Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. Ten teams clash in 43 matches at the Queen's Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad and Warner Park Stadium and Connery's in Kits. Get tickets, match schedules and more at windyscricket.com. So let's see the wickets from the West Indies innings. McLean, first to go, caught a deep mid wicket. 12. Nation sweeping force delivery, L Plum in front, LBW, not. Next to go was Henry, caught behind, going back on her back foot. And then we have uh, Haley Matthews, bowled by Vash Tracker. And we have Knight, caught by Vash Tracker. Grimman. Tom coming down the pitch. Delivery that was held back, missed it completely and was stumped. Catch Nabi. Catch Nabi looking for a quick single. The bowler coming around very quickly and then throwing down the bowlers in. Catch Nabi guilty of not really trying, running as fast as she could. Looking at the batting card uh, after the 20 overs, uh, West Indies were able to, to get 73 runs. So we have Natasha McLean just getting nine, Knight 22, Nation without scoring, uh, Henry 6, Matthews 2, Campbell 19, Grimman 5, uh, Gashnabi 3. Alling one nut out. Really disappointed by the West Indies batting department. And we will be back in a minute with the presentation. Hey parents, are you looking for an academy in Queens and Long Island for your boys and girls? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, Queens United Cricket Academy is the place to be. Registrations for spring and summer sessions are now open. For more information, visit our website at cuca.org. Indian bowling in Joshi. Four not 15 not bowl pretty well. Very tight. Patel 3 1 3 2. Very good bowling. Excellent bowling. Rada 1 for 10. Punan 1 for 15. And Vastrik 1 for 14. Dia 1 for 13. Very, very good bowling. Weston is winning the toss and asking in the, in the women to bat. Krishnamurti 57, Rodriguez 50, 4, 9, <laughs> um, 7, Machus 1 for 23, Allen 1 for 23, Mohammed 1 for 26. Weston is winning reply 7 to 3 for 7 in 20 overs. Knight 22, Campbell 19, McLean 
nine and Henry six. Patil two for three. Yadav one for ten. Dial one for thirteen. And Fastrika one for fourteen. India women won by six to one runs. And win the series five nil. So I was really disappointed to lose the, the series 5-0 uh, on your own home turf. It's not nice, uh, um, and especially when you think that the World Cup is coming up. Um, just, just from the corner, it's certainly. And when you look at that, uh, you can see the losses there, some big defeat. Some big defeat by the India in the team. The winning the series 5-0. Westernese will be really disappointed about the series. And we had down to John for the presentation. A comprehensive victory for India once again in this T20 series, winning the final T20 by 61 runs and taking the series 5-0. Congratulations to India. Our presentation tonight is going to be a little bit different because we have some individual prizes to give out. But before we get to those, we must call on our captains for today. We begin with our losing captain, Anissa Mohammed. So Anissa, 5-0, your thoughts? Yeah, a very disappointing series for us. Um, I thought that our bat and fail in every game. I mean, you can't be playing international cricket and not being able to score runs. It's difficult for the bowlers to always win games. 5-0, but I mean, your batsmen had no chance, really. This was a good op good opportunity to get some runs. Where did it go wrong, really? Um, I wouldn't say the batters didn't have chance. I just think that they didn't take the chances. Because um, if the Indians can score runs, then why can't we? I mean, I, if you look at our lineup, we have a lot of batters. But it's about getting out there and scoring runs and putting runs behind your name. And what was the plan with sending Haley Matthews in the middle order and also Shamin Campbell? Uh, well, we just wanted to try something new. We've tried tried it for four games. It didn't work. So tonight was just an opportunity to try new things. So what's next for West Indies? Um, in two weeks, we have a franchise tournament in Trinidad. Then the players go home, spend a little time with their families, and then we head back to Antigua in January. Best wishes. Thank you. And now we call on the winning captain uh, for tonight and also the winning captain of the series. Smriti, congratulations yeah. on the victory tonight and of course a series series win 5-0. Yeah, uh, thank you. I think it was a really good performance uh, from all the bowlers and especially Jemmy and Veda. The way, uh, you know, they uh, got that partnership uh, after the after two early wickets. I think that was really crucial. So we are really happy uh, to get uh, five, five wins in a row. Mm -hmm. At the toss, you said 120 would have been reasonable. You got 134. Was it really good batting track? Uh, I I think uh, it's not that easy a batting track that we saw in the last two matches as well. So uh, you know, as a batter, you have to be really smart on this wicket. And I think uh, Veda and Jemmy did a really good job to get us to 135. So I thought, yeah, anything above 120 was a really good total on this wicket. And the score line at the end of the series five nil. But was West Indies at all competitive? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, West Indies uh, in T20 format uh, on, on their given day, we know that uh, they can, you know, win any match from any condition. So, uh, really happy that uh, we we could get uh, good performances from all the uh, all the players, and we we can get we, we got 5-0, uh, you know, whitewash with them. And yeah, it's a good confidence booster before the World Cup. So overall, you're happy with your performance? Yeah, definitely. I think because the whole uh, whole bunch con contributed, it was not a single player standing out the, right from Chef Ali, Jemima, Veda, and all the bowlers, all the spinners especially. So we are really happy with the way uh, all the girls batted and, you know, feel it. So what's next for India? Uh, yeah, we have a small, uh, we will have a break and then we'll have a small fitness camp maybe and then... I think we have a try series in Australia before the World Cup, so that will be a good preparation for the World Cup. So yeah, really looking forward to next uh, three to four months because it's going to lead up to the World Cup. And just before you go, just tell us about your time in Guyana as we wrap up this series. Yeah, yeah, we we've been here last year as well for the World Cup. We have, we played all the four matches here. I think uh, this has this ground is really lucky because we won all four on four in the World Cup and now five, three on three. So yeah, 
and, and yeah it again is uh, very similar to what india is so yeah uh, i think really happy and enjoyed our time in guyana and west indies in total and good support from the fans as well yeah uh, even last time when we had we were here for the world cup we had a lot of indians come to support us and even this time and even, even in saint lucia and antigua so yeah all 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 in all i think we had a really good and reasonable trip well, congratulations and best wishes yes thank you so that's the captain of india smriti mandana for this game of course india taking the series 5 nothing all right we continue with our presentation tonight and we go on to the player of the match and tonight's player of the match will receive a check from selena bakas assistant administrator at the ghana cricket board and for a well played half century 57 in a wonderful 170 run partnership congratulations and we call on vera krishnamurthy our player of the match today you don't want to check <laughs> so congratulations uh, good knock thank you so much right so was it an easy track to bat on uh no it was a tough wicket to bat on uh, it was spinning and uh, it was it was a bit slow so we had to make sure that you know we get onto the ball and uh, hit it but batting uh, with jemima how was that no it was pretty uh, nice because we had good conversation going on and uh, we kept pushing each, each other and we knew uh, we cannot get our big, big shots so we were pushing with our running between and we were trying to look for that uh, singles and at the halfway stage of the game 134 on the board you felt that was enough uh yes uh, considering that we've got uh, good spinners who've done well throughout the series uh, i think it was uh, a pass go overall how do you sum up your performance in the series um i've been pretty um, fortunate that you know the the staff and uh, the captain has shown faith in me and uh, has given me an, uh, enough number of games to uh, get my eye in and uh, today was uh, an opportunity for me batting higher up the order uh, i think i've done justice to it you did well congratulations thank you so much player of the match vera krishnan murthy well played half century today we now move on to the player of the series and we ask Lashawn Toussaint to step forward. She's going to be handing over the check to her player of the series, Shafali Verma. Shafali Verma had two half centuries at the start of the series, and she really lit up the tournament. Everyone was asking about Shafali Verma. Yeah. So congratulations, Shafali. <laughs> all right. So you got all of your runs really at the start of the series in Saint Lucia. What was different in Guyana? We started run Saint Lucia match ke karte Guyana mein kya difference tha? Hmm, idhar ka wicket mein thoda difference tha. To main chahungi ki us wicket ke hisab se khel lu aur acha. The wicket here was different than Saint Lucia was slightly on the slower side so she wanted to do well and probably it's an experience for her going forward. So what was your preparation like before coming for this series because the world now know about Shafali Verma? ये सीरीज आने से पहले तो प्रिपरेशन कैसे था कि अब पूरी दुनिया को पता चल गया कि तू कैसे खेलती है मैं बॉयज़ के साथ प्रैक्टिस करती थी और हमारे एसोसिएशन ने मुझे बहुत सपोर्ट किया और मेरे घर वालों ने भी और मेरे पापा ने भी बहुत सपोर्ट किया मुझे प्रैक्टिस कराई शी शी ट्रेन विद बॉयज बैक होम एंड एसोसिएशन द स्टेट डोमेस्टिक एसोसिएशन हैज प्रोवाइडेड ऑल लॉट ऑफ फैसिलिटीज एंड एट द सेम टाइम हर डैड एंड हर फैमिली हैज बीन इट्स वेरी सपोर्टिव टू हर टू वर्ड्स एंड आर यू एन्जॉइंग इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट सो फार आई एम एन्जॉइंग Okay. Well, congratulations. We want to see more of you. Thank you. Thank you. Play of the series Shafali Verma. I know we call on the winning captain once again and Kavita Yadram will be handing over the the winning trophy to India for winning the series 5-0. It started in St. Lucia and now we wrapping up here in Guyana and our captain of course for the series is Harman Pritkar. Harman Pritkar will stand the step forward to receive the winning trophy. for the series congratulations lovely trophy yeah thank you very much i think it's uh, it, it's it's uh, team performance all over team performance and i think it all the credit goes to our uh, sports staff the way they are working on us i think uh, the especially our bowlers i think uh, harwani sir work a lot on our bowling unit and i think uh, because of him uh, bowler able to deliver themselves i think uh, credit goes to all the uh, sports staff and of course players well, you won the series 5-0 but you came here in ghana with a 2-0 lead 
Were you able to test all of your players in this series? Yes, definitely, because uh, uh, I think all uh, matches were very important. I, I think uh, uh, whoever got the opportunity, they utilized. Uh, and I think, uh, yes, we are here uh, because before the World Cup, these games were very important and uh, everyone, everyone got the opportunity. I think now we are ready to perform uh, in the future also. So you mentioned the World Cup. How, in terms, how was this series in terms of preparation for that World Cup? Yes, because as I said, these games were very important, and we we were looking to give uh, uh, give opportunity to the each uh, uh, each the player, and I think everybody got enough opportunity. Now we're just looking to do well in the World Cup. You did not play today, but tell us about that partnership. Looking at the sideline with Jemima and Vera Krishnamurti. Yes, because uh, when we lost early to wicket, they, they they didn't get panic. They they know like when they were there, they are also uh, uh, very important for the team. And they 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 I think uh, they batted uh, uh, both of them uh, batted really well. And I think uh, the, that is the sign like we are prepared for uh, uh, all uh, uh, for, for every moment. Like if someone is not performing, uh, uh, other players are there to utilize that opportunity and get uh, decent total on the board for the team. Our play of the series, Shafali Verma. Tell us about her. Uh, she is, uh, I think she, she is uh, someone who loves to uh, execute herself and we always uh, give her freedom to play her shots and I think uh, she played very well and uh, that's what we were expecting from her because uh, she doesn't have too much pressure on herself because she is someone who loves to go and execute herself and I think uh, she batted very well and she set the tone for us and uh, I think uh, first two games the way she batted and uh, she gave confidence to other players also, they can also go and perform well and I think it was a good all all over team performers. And just before you go, tell us about your time in Guyana away from cricket. Uh, I think, uh, to be honest, we didn't uh, go anywhere because uh, first thing, uh, not uh, they didn't. Uh, there is, I think, uh, I think, whenever we come here, we enjoy more cricket than uh, going out because uh, I think we played, I think, uh, uh, nine to ten games here and we won all the games. And I think uh, uh, part of. Uh, uh, Going outside, we enjoy more cricket here and we will love to come again because whenever we come here, we win. And I think that's more uh, good for us and other than looking other things. Well, good luck. Uh, keep winning. Thank you very much. I know that trophy is heavy. Go celebrate with your team. Yes, so, so that's it from the presentation party. Uh, congratulations once again to India for winning this series 5-0. Back to you guys upstairs. So congratulations to the India team and uh, Haman Prikor. Well done to their team. And uh, let's say thank you to Mr. Clyde Butts for joining us here in Guyana. Well, it was nice working with you a little bit, Marissa, and, and certainly look forward to working with you again and to the crew as well. So uh, that's it here from us from the Providence Stadium in Guyana. Thanks for having us and hope to see you guys soon. Later. Are you ready? Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup is here. 10 teams clash in 43 matches at the Queens Park Oval and Brian Lara Cricket Academy Trinidad at Warner Park Stadium and Connery St. Kitts. It's going to be music, entertainment, excitement, and 23 days and nights of cricket mayhem as the teams vie for bragging rights in the Cup of Champions. Who you reppin'? Come for the action. Stay for the vibes. For match schedules and more, visit windyscricket.com.